Let's see. And then like I'm, so, I, like I'm supposed to remember Tennessee. your schedule. You're supposed to. If you stop doing drugs all the time, you might remember. Well, hey, drugs are the only thing keep me going. Dude, you got like one of those like call center headsets on too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I left. Well, I brought minimal. You know what I could do, so I'd have a little headset. Well, I should have known it's it's, be- it's better. You have better internet. Yeah, my parents have actually very good internet now compared to mine. I'll be back Sunday. Night. And uh, Jerry asked what uh, uh, Nick's song's going to be tonight. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't I, I, even though you're in Tennessee, what? It, it, that's the music Tennessee. capital of the world. You couldn't. Uh, you couldn't uh, come up with a song in the music capital of the I world. Don't, it, I don't. I don't have any instruments here. I was I was working yeah. on a song Play in our texting spoons. thread here, which was, "It's time to get things started. It's time to put <laughs> on makeup." Yes, Will. I'm still at my parents, but I'll be leaving early Saturday morning. So, you've been there for quite a while. Well, I was here for a few days, then went to East Tennessee, and then back here. What's the difference between East I love Tennessee the love the camera at? on about, on about Chris. five, about five very... hours. Yeah. About five hours. What yeah. happened? The states the states that big. It's actually like if you went from one end to the other, it's more like seven. Well, I guess yeah, Tennessee's a big state. Yeah, from tit to taint, you know, it's gotta get them new boys. Tit to taint. I meant to say tip to taint. (laughs) Every now and then, Chris comes into focus, like in in his camera set, where it's like oh, he's he's trying to be cool too with the hat to the side. Oh no, that that was me like him and the movie lighting. You know, no, that's for just those, dude, those it, that it, just join us in the audio. Here, here's a quick lesson, you Pain know, for picture. those who have Macs and those who also have iPhone, it's a it's a feature of the operating system oh. now that you can take your yes. phone and use it as your webcam, which is exactly what I'm doing. Oh, okay, wow. okay. So you can mount it to the top of your computer, and it utilizes okay. the. The beautiful camera of your of your phone, which is oh. literally a hundred times Literally. better than any webcam on any. Uh, huh. I I should laptop. try to do that with my. If, if only Apple would teach us how to use our phones. I should try and do that too. But it's not up for you know things to teach you. You have to teach yourself. And, oh, oh look! Oh, 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 look who's oh, look who's oh, gonna oh, be uh, got uh, it. Is that a tune. Is that a tune? Oh, I don't know how to play this thing. Slightly play us a song. Can you play us a song. Play, play us a song that you know how to play. It's out of tune. Okay. Pretend that you know how to play. It's actually, I think it's in tune. It's not. It's not. Uh-uh. I can tell when you started it. It wasn't. Why is it? I, I tuned it for you. Why? I can. I can. I can tell when Nick said it. It's, it's so out yeah. of tune. It, it was out of tune. Oh, I, don't, right. I don't know how to play. I'm not gonna pretend. All right. But you. But this. Your, this but, is. All right. All right. This is my daughter's ukulele. I'll show, I'll show you. Doesn't a, she doesn't know a song. I'll show you how to play something really quick. All right. Put your finger on the very bottom string on the third fret. Yeah. I'll keep this, keep okay. this clean. And all I want you to do. No, okay, so no, just, that's a C chord. No. If I go, yeah, God, that's so awful. That's so <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, the very beginning of something by George Harrison of the Beatles mm. is just something. So you have to see something in the way, then you move it up one. The way she moves will be the very last one. Yeah. Okay. So we gotta get. Once you get it, once you get it in tune. Yeah. <laughs> so I, 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 I think it has a. Uh, you have a tuner, don't you? Yeah, you can stretch. It you can get and download one on your phone very easily too. Do yeah. Right. So. Uh, so he doesn't want me to break it. Okay. Yeah. Do that on Tuesday. All right. Cool. <laughs> well, thank you for show and tell. Yeah. Who's is it? Who's show me a chord? Yeah. Come on in. Oh, you can't. You can't see her. This is my daughter. Down. Say hi, Emma. Or hi. You, they, can, they can't. You can't hear them. But are you from Franklin? Are you from Franklin, Indiana? Are you from Franklin, Indiana? You know the answer to that, Jack. Just the, I just saw Franklin, and so could be Tennessee. A minor. Good, a good. minor. Could be Franklin, North Carolina. F. F. Nice. Just, just good job. Just, well, just I, I'm, a, just I'm not going to try now. But um, I wanted to show. These guys, your ukulele. Can you play happy? Can you play Nick, happy birthday? Nick, him, he he plays the ukulele for us weekly, but he you play, didn't bring his. He's at home. Can you play happy time. birthday? Can you play happy birthday? Ask Jack. Can you play happy, happy birthday? No, it's okay. I don't know how to play anything. 
It's all right, buddy. And they have this new your, they, hey, they have this, get to bed. They have this new thing called YouTube. <laughs> oh, oh, that was worth it. If for those listening, um, she just gave him a little pet. a good night kiss. Yeah, yeah. Love you, too, buddy. They grow up. They grow up so fast, dude. I know. <laughs> she looks like she's like twelve or thirteen. She's well, she is pretty tall. Ten. Yeah, she's she's super tall. Um, I had to correct myself live in the moment there, and I'll be caught that or not because that was a gift from Santa. Oh, and I was like, oh. and I was like, I, I I almost dropped the ball. But if you, if you heard that, I, I said, didn't I? I did didn't you get a tuna? <laughs> <laughs> um, but she's she's super stoked for it because she's like started playing uh, ukulele in, in music class. Oh, so she went in she went into school the other day and she didn't want to like impose upon her music teacher who's completely awesome. Her music teacher is great, and he's she was like, "Hey, if I brought my my ukulele in, would you tune it for me?" And he's like, "Fuck yeah, like <laughs> bring it in, like like thinking of, fuck of yeah, you know, well you know." Thinking of like a fifth grade music teacher getting well, like the, the engagement of like uh, yeah, you know sure. of these kids who really want to play. She really does want to play. Um, but he was saying that like you know when you get these ukuleles, you know when you first get them, you have to stretch out the strings because they're you know the brand new. And he he says he's got extra strings for her. He, she can take home too, which is kind of cool. But apparently, this style of ukulele, the strings are really need to get like stretched. Being before they can even be put into tune, I don't know the first thing about that. So, was that who she was worried about you breaking it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, don't break it. Uh, (laughs) Mr. Barrett needs to see that. And and kudos to anyone who might be listening from the Franklin, Massachusetts, which is nobody. But Mr. Barrett (laughs) is uh, a phenomenal music teacher, and he's one of those guys that should be nominated for like Teacher of the Year because of his dedication to those kids. Well, can't you do that? Yeah. Oh, I have. Like, like. You know, I, I drop my daughter off for school every morning and, you know, there's you know, hundreds of kids getting dropped off either by bus or by car. And Mr. Barrett, the music teacher, greets every single one of them by their name. And it's it's quite an amazing thing to see nice. someone, you know, have that connection with the kids, which is really, really nice. But, um, yeah, so I'm psyched. She's got herself a ukulele um, and an iPad, actually, as well. Um, so, oh, nice. yeah. Good times for out of tune music in my house. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's, she'll she should, you know, building the muscles to, to get the chords is the hardest part. But yeah, right. the only the only chord that's somewhat hard to hit on the ukulele for a beginner is E. Yeah, um, it's just a weird way to put your hand. So I usually just mm. play E minor, and you guys can't tell the difference. So. <laughs> once she learns how to play, for your ears. <laughs> once she learns how to play it, maybe we can have her do the opening song. At least maybe, we yeah, maybe, maybe. We, can, yeah. We, we, we can. We have someone who can we can count on to come up with a song each week. Yeah, we could commission her to do our music. I mean, it's been it's been a month. Just saying, since we recorded, since we all has recorded. it been a month? It, well, been, Matt and I so did nice. one. Well, yeah. At least three. <laughs> it's been so. So amazing, uh, and it might even be longer because. Uh, so today, he's not coming home, guys. No, like so. Listen to this shit. So today was a, a hectic and stressful day for me, um, because are you are you working? Yeah, I'm in right working. Now. I'm yeah, I'm working from home, and then okay. you know, I'll drive back on the weekend. But today, you know, it's the the fifth, and most of my other bills came in, like utilities stuff came in, and uh, I'm looking at my water bill. And it was seven hundred dollars. Oh shit! Ooh. Holy crap! And I go, I go, what the fuck? Because did, did you need a shower water, on? Did you have a water main break? Yep. Oh. And I've been, I've been gone since the twelfth of December. Oh my and, god! Uh, and so I Is normally spend, to the house? I, I normally use about seven to eight hundred gallons a month of water. It's just me. I use forty four thousand gallons. In the month of December. Hey, hey, hey! You should be quiet because there's a lot of people from California listening. Yeah, Holy I was using all shit, California. Dude. That's how much I hate and, California. Has they anybody gone to your they, fucking they house, Nick? Move fast yes, forward. Is it? Yes. Okay. It's because Jack keeps interrupting me. Yeah, I'm anyway. trying to find out <laughs> the story. I'm. So oh, anyway, yes, I've been quiet, I, I'm calling all of my neighbors to tell them like, hey, and they're all like on vacation themselves or you know doing whatever they do. And I remember that one of my coworkers lives about half a mile from my house. So I'm like, hey, can you please go check my house? And she, she gets there, she 
uh, video chats with me. She's like, yeah, there's water coming out from the bottom of your garage. And I give her the garage code. She opens it up. And I'm actually quite thankful it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be because I was expecting to like be on the top part of the house and have like a waterfall coming down. And what it is is what I can guess is that the main behind the shower in my office burst inside the wall and it was just draining inside the wall into the lower level. Luckily, I didn't have any personal things damaged, but the whole floor of the downstairs is fucked. Um, And yeah, water waster. but yeah, it's it's I'm kind of screwed for a little while. But uh, I've already oh. got a plumber. I've already got a plumber coming out on Monday morning, and everything is shut off in the house. All the water shut off. I've got everything taken care of for now. But it's like it's one of those things where if he's like, oh, like all of your pipes burst on this level, I'm not gonna have any water for God knows how long. So I might not even be able to go back into my house for a while. So I have Jesus. no idea. But I've I've already had some hmm. friends be like, oh, you can come stay with us until it mostly gets. Fixed. You don't have you don't have cameras in your house. You need to get cameras in your house. Why do I need to get cameras in my house? So if cameras. something happens like that, you can see it. Well, that's what's insane is that so when I called the utility company to ask them about, you know, like, hey, like this is an insane amount of bill. And they're like, yeah, you used 44,000 gallons of water. That's and I was like, you. yeah, I was, yeah, yeah. Well, I was just like, well, and I was like, she was, let me check what the meter, the meter reader said in his note, he wrote possible pipe burst question mark. And that was on December 26th. And I was like, and you couldn't have called me in the time that's passed from December 26th? You know, it's like, what or, the fuck? Or, they, guys- or couldn't, couldn't they have shut off the water? Exactly. But no, they just left it running. So I don't know. That that actually probably. I mean, it just, it just go in an extra step and say, hey, he's not home. They're not home. Maybe I should just shut off the water. There could be a, there well, could be a, sorry you I mean, that. yeah. I mean, what if you're just trying to stockpile water from the government? <laughs> right. You know, you can't do that. You can't I'm just in that it. pool, you know, that pool in the backyard. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, da- David Winter. Uh, David in chat says, um, this is the exact reason I installed Wi-Fi water valve cutoff, which is actually a really good idea. Mm. Um, I didn't get like, that. I'm going to write that down. Yeah, yeah you can get I'm those. Right. I didn't know they um, had that. You're like a couple hundred bucks. Get the wide thing, setting on the they're... Wi-Fi water. Would it work? It, what, what happens if you have wait. Nickernet though? Will it still say, work? Would it, right. Would it work? <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop it. Stop. Oh, I'm sorry. It won't stop. <sighs> well, do you have sen- You can also put sensors, right? So, like you, you know, um, well, it wouldn't really matter if it was in the behind the uh, the shower i guess right so you know you can put sensors around your hot water heater that can trigger if, if there's any moisture that can right. but notify it, you as well it wasn't around the, the hot right like where, where the main valve is like where the actual yeah. closet was so that's fine it was just in this one spot of the house and just drained yeah. straight down into the next bathroom below it and then so it, from the, there it flooded that room and then it flew flowed into the garage mm-hmm. and out of the house so do you, go ahead jack they know how much water you use average a month, seven to eight hundred. They yeah. see forty four thousand. Yeah. And didn't think anything and, about it. And they, they didn't think anything of it? No. I mean, come on. I, I look I would, you I don't would, want I, the government messing with your water <laughs> usage, okay? But it, okay, I'm but it's taking still, a strictly it's, hard libertarian view. You know, here. if if he did you that can't was, have the government messing with Say he was still your, li- say he's still living right. in Los Angeles, he'd be doing hard time. Heck yeah, it would be. <laughs> yeah, you would. <laughs> Well, um, cocaine's a I hell mean, of a drug. I mean, so that's forty-four thousand gallons could could you know supply so, all of Nick, Southern California. Was, was it was it just a a, a drop in temperature in London? Yes, or, okay, that's so. what I assume happened. Is that I think it was on the twenty-second or twenty-third. Um, I you know when the, all the first big blizzards came through, mm. you know we got all the snow and stuff. It mm. dropped uh, in Loveland, where I live, from I think. 20 Gotta or 30 that. degrees to like negative 20 like that oh, and so is. i think that's what did it yeah you didn't leave a little drip going no i mean i probably should have. i just wasn't thinking about it you know because i've never really lived in a cold environment and never thought about doing that leaving the sink going a little bit but i don't know what happened but we'll see because i've learned i've learned, to, I've learned to do that when it gets cold um probably when i left probably like 62 or something you know, just to keep it enough, but not. Yeah. You know, there should have been plenty. Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, that sucks. I hope it'll get. Um, hope it's an easily resolved situation. 
I hope so too. I mean, I've already, like I said, I've already been on the call with like the main insurance people. So you have you haven't been home since, right? You, you no, my, my friend who I work with took pictures and some video of it. And so let me see. our wall, our walls damaged, ceiling damaged. Mm. Yeah, there's there's a little bit of ceiling damage just where it came from the upstairs shower into the next bathroom below it. Um, but the only thing is, other than that, I mean, I'm gonna have to replace the entire floor in the basement. So that's that that that's why you got homeowners, bro. You know, right? That's, exactly. Because yeah. here's the thing, like you're you're gonna have to have like remediation services come in because whenever you have like sitting water, especially in the walls that you can't see, right? Um, that's mold, right? So I mean, I, I had to deal with that with my my shit storm of a basement in my last house. Mm. Um, I remember but, that when you uh, fell down in the shit. Yeah. Um, so if, if you're going to open up a, a homeowner's claim, um, like fucking go all in. Like, make sure you demand <coughs> to have like a remediation company come in and give their their two cents. And they're gonna have to cut up the floor, the wall. You have to replace all that. Can so they if, pay for the water bill? No, no. There's no way you can get that. No. The only thing they'll pay, they'll pay for um, everything that the water damaged. So they'll pay yep. for the floor. They'll pay for the walls. They'll pay for anything that's personal Your of mine internet. that got ruined. The only thing that they will not pay for is if so, like, if the pipe burst from freezing, they will pay for it because that's normal. But if hmm. it was like a pipe that just started seeping, then that's on me for not replacing old pipes. Well, how old's the house? I mean, I forget it's how old the house. Built sixty-eight, but 68? I, I guarantee it, it burst from from freezing. Yeah, dude, yeah. pipes from sixty-eight aren't gonna dissolve. No. Yeah, but uh, I mean, they're, they're, using they're, co- they're copper, right? The copper, copper aluminum? rather. Yeah, yeah, no, copper. Yeah, the fuck am I talking about? Yeah, there's no way. But we'll see. We'll see when I get there and. And then get people out because I got the, like I said, the plumbers coming out first thing Monday morning, and then I should hear from the adjuster. And they, they have another company too that's going to come out and do like all the vacuuming and, and didn't damage your Lego collection, that. did it? So yeah, that's what I was worried about. Luckily, mm. the Legos are on the second level, but mm. I did have my big gigantic Millennium Falcon still in the box mm. that did the box got damaged. So I'm. Like, oh! Oh. I think I think that's just fate telling you you need to build it. To build it. But you know, they're all still in the plastic bag, so I was like, hey, it's all right. You know, but like, yeah, but the boxes. Sure. The boxes. That's and odd. that's what's funny is that she the the my my coworker that went in, she was you know, she had the uh, the FaceTime on and she goes, Oh, there's a Star Wars box here, I'll move it out of the water. And I was like, No, 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 no. And then she she grabbed it because it's the waste so much, she it's just ripped rips. the box and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> So now they're all floating around, all the pieces. Nah, she she did okay, but it's just the only that thing I got ruined really. were like a couple like posters that. Well, luckily there. you you had some someone you could call. Yeah, I was, but that was my one of my sheer panic is I couldn't get a hold of anybody. The only person I could get a hold of was my boss, and he was in meetings all day, so he wasn't gonna be able to get there till roughly around this time. He's tonight. like, uh, then, yeah, I'm really busy. Yeah, so, but luckily yeah. I remembered her, and so she was like, oh yeah, no problem, you know. And then she she got me all my information, my insurance information, so I could go ahead and take care of that today instead of having to wait till Monday and. So I was, I was just, it, you know, it sucks, but it could have been a lot worse. Cause I was, like I said, I, my worst case scenario is like it, you know, opened my bedroom and then just the whole second level, third levels like you know, flooded. And I'm like, just ruin everything. But I'm hoping it's not gonna be too bad. Do you have a cat? I do not. I have no animals. It's Cause Kim said she heard of a case where her family had a huge water bill because the <laughs> cat kept flushing the toilet. The cat. Dude. Wow. Hmm. Um, insanity, you know, like you plead insanity on it. You're just like, I, I don't know about the cat or the, the water. The water. Yeah. That's, I just can't believe the water, the water company didn't put two and two together and say, all right, there's an issue here. Yeah. You I think, might I think be able, because... you might be able to somehow work in the loss due to water utilization out of this. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, I would, I would, I would look at it. I would do everything I can to try and say, fuck you, you're paying for it. Like, cause that's, right. cause, cause that's just, that, that, come on. They, they, because know seven, like, it's a $700 water bill. Like, just, I mean, I'm not yeah. going to, you know, <laughs> whatever. And, like, and the that's damage not, they're going to pay for is far exceeds $700. Right. right. They, they're they're going to be replacing, they're going to be paying for, for parts and labor for plumbing. And then you have to tear apart your wall. They're going to tear apart your floor and redo all that shit. Your claim is going to be probably close to fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. A seven hundred dollar water bill should just be a, yeah. sorry for the pun, a drop in the bucket. <laughs> drop in the well, uh, yeah, I, I definitely am going to call the utility company. 
because like thinking about that that bill cycle ended like on the 26th of December, and so I've got another 11 days of <laughs> you know. John, the retired guy says you can call the water department and explain you're from Tennessee. Oh. Uh... Tennessee. Is that, is that supposed to be an insult? I don't. I I, I would think so. Tennessee. I don't know. I thought it was just a general, like I don't know. I, right. I don't know. I just it just yeah, seems. I would be I'd be pissed the water. I mean, obviously they didn't yeah. do it, but I'd, I'd be pissed the water company. They noticed it and didn't do anything about it. Well, I mean, it's also like I wonder where the hell my neighbors are because my friend who went over there, she goes, "Your driveway is a river of ice." <laughs> you know, you could just see it coming down Ooh. the hill, and I'm just like. Yeah. What the hell? Like, did no one just drive by and go, huh? Look at hmm. that. Yeah. That Nick, he's probably doing some edibles. Yeah. <laughs> he's probably doing some mushrooms. He probably killed himself in the tub and it just keeps. <laughs> I'm not going to the house. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, that sucks, Nick. I feel bad hmm. for you. I really do. Anyway. Home ownership. Am I right? And, Am I right? Yeah. And, and happy belated birthday. You know? Thank you. Yeah. So I'm now the. Yeah, answer, dude. I'm now the answer to everything. There you go. How old are you now? Forty-two. Yeah. Forty-two. Clearly, clearly, Jack is not a uh, uh, golfer. golfer. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep adding like references on top of references. references. Yeah. So I'm, I'm I'm having home owner issues. Uh, <laughs> came home, uh, my my lights in my kitchen aren't working. Uh, <coughs> nor is the outlet that powers my microwave, or the outlet that powers and lights that power my bathroom exhaust fan you probably need a new uh the the thing that the sets reset thing fuse the gfci outlet no. so um yeah oh i, I actually fuse, believe but... I, I i think the problem lies at the light switch that powers the kitchen lights because i'm pretty sure that's the first point of like the electrical run from the fuse box going upstairs i think it runs through the light switch and then from the light switch goes up and to the attic to, to actually bring down to the, the, the drop down lights. And then on the way up there, I think it stops at an outlet that powers the microwave and the bathroom exhaust fan in the other room. It sounds fucking weird, but it's kind of like the same direction. So I'm hoping it's just the actual rocker switch on the wall that could cause that entire line to stop working. Because if that's the mm -hmm. case, that's an easy $4 fix. And if it's not and it's wiring, then... I'm fucked. I, I know we had a problem in the kitchen for a long time, and we used to be like green acres. I would have the extension cord going to the other side, and I, yeah. So I kept replacing that the the uh, what's it called again, Matt? The GFCI outlet. Yeah. So I kept and it, it like oh, it worked for like a couple of weeks, and then go boom, and I go he, he gets can't be so confused. Yeah. Mm. So then I finally replaced the fuse in the fuse box, and everything worked. And I, yeah, my, and my I, you think, you think, of it, you think they'd be difficult? It took me like five minutes to replace. My fuses are brand new. I got the all redone when I got the um maybe they did it wrong. The solar. No, but it's been working all year. It's just happened to stop working today. But I'm pretty sure I'm I'm pretty sure it's at that that point is where at the, the rocker switch it's causing the problem. Mm. Okay. But it's just finding the time to fix it. And I couldn't microwave dinner tonight, so I had to air fry <laughs> fucking chicken nuggets. Sherry asked, yeah, sorry to be captain always, but did you push the reset? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it totally did. Yeah. So yeah, I was gonna say, did you try the fuse box? The, I, oh yeah. So. I, I literally so the, the wiring in my house is kind of fucked, right? In the sense <laughs> that like it's it, it doesn't actually represent what's happening in the house. So I don't know what all the fuses actually do. So in the case like this, I just turn them all off. And then turn them all back on to see if that mm. fixes it. No, mm -hmm. it didn't fix. Uh, and Sherry, yeah, there it's like is, what the IT crowd suggests. True, so. there there is one GFCI outlet on oh, that no. line, and it's in the bathroom on the bathroom wall. And I've 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 reset that outlet a couple of times too, and and nothing, nothing to, to no avail, as they say. Hmm. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Well, I know I know our like our fuse box is not labeled right. Yeah, so, that's what I'm saying. Mine's not either. It's it, so it's all I, I, so I have to have someone. In the house. I go, is it off? That no. I, why don't why yeah. why don't you just label it one day? Yeah. Like, well, the like, thing is, uh, look, yes, I, I can I'm just, just label it one day. But the thing is, though, is that the way the house is wired, like you can tell, it, so it was built in 1980. In between 1980 and mm -hmm. 1995, they made some significant changes to the house. So, which included some weird wiring. So, like, as an example, the line that I'm talking about goes from the mm -hmm. fuse box to a light switch that's outside of the kitchen. 
mm. that controls the lighting in the kitchen, but also feeds the um, it that line also feeds the lights through the ceiling, but also feeds two additional outlets as mm. well. So like power is running through that switch, going up to two ceiling lights, then going to a uh, an outlet be- up above my microwave that plugs into, and then an outlet mm-hmm. in the bathroom which that butts. So it's like it branches off like a tree. So I don't I don't mm. know exactly which ones are which, but. Yeah, because my daughter said the because you said why don't you relabel it, Matt? My daughter goes, why don't you just relabel it? I go because I don't think about it until I'm trying to find out what switch it is, and after that I don't care. I, my wife ordered a new lamp for the uh, new light fixture for the uh, kitchen, mm. and I'm I'm all right. It is down. fucking labeled. It just doesn't have all the labels. Necessary. No, ours is ours is not labeled correct. It'll like say yeah. dishwasher. It's not the dish. I'm like what sure. the fuck. Yeah, but it's North Carolina. You know, I'm just saying, like, maybe you just put another sticker on there and just say, maybe you should shut the fuck up, okay? (laughs) (laughs) That's a lot of work. I know that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. I mean, there's like 16, there's like 16 switches. I'm just, I'm over here drinking like several espresso shots, (laughs) just trying to keep with this conversation. It's it's going to take me like water, electrical. What it's next? Fire? Like we've we talked some gas. So gas. I, 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 I'm putting up this light fixture. Poop. I'm, I'm, I'm moving on. Poop. You got a poop story with, with your grandkids? Because I'm. I, I got to have a story with my grandkids. Again. But anyway, was, wait, by the way, guys, when it was just me and him, it was basically just stories about his kids, grandkids shitting on things, and then me putting up with it. <laughs> right? Did I sum it up? Yeah. So. I hate that I'm agreeing with Matt, John. The guy. Well, it's 2023. Welcome to. So uh, I'm I'm putting this light <laughs> fixture up, and you know how the it, it has these these two screws, and you have the little things on the light fixture where you tighten up. And yeah. There. Okay. Takes like Got they wouldn't up. they wouldn't they wouldn't there wasn't enough room, mm-hmm. so I'm taking out the bolt. I said, "All right, I'm gonna take out the bolt." I go, "Yeah." What the? Heck? And so I'm trying to figure. How the, do you I, how do you tighten it? With your fingers. With my fingers, and then oh, you just, okay. You know, it's it's. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I just anyway, wanted to do the show. So my wife is watching. my wife mm-hmm. is there, and I'm getting fru- I'm getting angry and frustrated because I go, all right, this should no. be the fucking easiest fucking part of the goddamn thing. So I'm like I'm trying to fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, and finally she she's asking questions. You know, she's trying to help me. I said, please stop helping me. Please <laughs> stop. And then she, I, I go. I go, I finally say to her, I go, please leave me alone. I will figure it out. I go, either that or we're going to get a divorce. Because, and so I said, you know what? I'm going to wait till tomorrow and do it. <laughs> and Cindy's like, hmm. That might be, that's the best <laughs> offer I've had in a while. Exactly. So I finally figured, the next day, I, what I did is I used, that shit up. I, I used the base from the old light fixture, which was similar to the one we had. Mm-hmm. And I used the old piece that was you know that connects into the light fixture old, to hold old it up pieces still work and it worked because the new ones not, were not working i go and she kept asking me, i go look i don't know why it's not working but the new things it's a little bigger and the screws it, one's one's smaller. probably metric and one's probably you know i don't know i don't know what it was but it took me two one. days and i was just like i was american like american standard i go please leave me alone <laughs> See, I thought I was okay because I said please, and she was she she appreciated that I said please. Hey, leave me. No, alone. that's because <coughs> I can get mad. I can get upset. Mm. No, and I I chose to be polite and just you know. But at that point, <laughs> I didn't care if I got divorced or not. It was so frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's hanging up there. It's fine. Everything. But it was. It's the easiest fucking part. You just pop it in. Put the two. I'm gonna do it up here so Matt can't make fun of me. Put the bolts in, and it's done. But the damn thing uh, wouldn't work. And then one time I did it, and the mm-hmm. one of the wires came out, mm-hmm. and I went, "What the fuck?" So I had to. Well, did you put the wire caps on there? I did, but it. I was getting okay. So, you got to put I, the wire wire caps on there, and then you take the electrical tape and I, tape I, around. I, I, I did that. Okay. Well. Pff. I've done this, and then I don't have wires popping. Here's out here's, here's a trick for you too. You, if you take the two wires when the power is not going through them, of course, and you actually stick them into your drill, 
and you can zzz and oh, really yeah. twist them up and then put the wire caps That's on. That's how you do Then put the tape on top of that. I'm glad you told me that now. Yeah. <laughs> usually, I, usually I have no, to I, this I, very old house. Usually, <laughs> I have no, I have no problem. I have no problem with it. But this one was not working, so I had to use all different parts to get it to work, and it finally worked. He has a candle and, and candelabra and now, and I'm still married. So you know, right. there was a win, it was a win lose situation. Yeah, something right there. Jack. <laughs> but at this point, we're gonna take wait commercial what? break. Probably right a, now, probably, probably oh, a divorce no. lawyer. Oh fuck. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. <laughs> 30-30. And Matt so, has left the building. I wanted, to rec- <laughs> I wanted to recommend a show, and I think all four of us would really enjoy it. And it's amazing to me that I did not discover this about, show. Is it A River Runs Through It? No. That's oh, a good movie, though. Is that, is that too soon? Maybe. <laughs> it was a frozen river, though, so it's not technically. Yeah. Sorry, I feel bad. Okay, so... I guess it was one of those things that just popped up on, like, you may like on Netflix. And the show was in it. It was only three seasons. But it was with Michael Douglas and Alan Arkin. So I was like, hey, I like those guys. Let's, let's watch uh, the show. Yeah, the, the Kominsky method. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's so Heard fucking about. good. Mm-hmm. And My wife and, talked about that. And Chuck, that Chuck Lorre that. wrote it. And I fucking hate Chuck <coughs> Lorre. Uh, every show he's ever made. He's, he's the uh, Two and a Half Men, right? Two and a Half Men and Big Bang and, like... <laughs> And so, but he's it, actually, I was like, wow, he can. Love is Connection. It, is, it a, is it a comedy? Yeah, it's a comedy. <clears throat> Wasn't he it, on Love Connection? It's, it's not, we'll be back in two. I'm back two. in two and two. Yeah. That's not Chuck Lorre. That's but Chuck Woolery. Uh, Chuck Woolery, yeah. Boom. Did, 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 did I one of you guys would know that. Thank did you. Die? Um, what? I don't know. Yeah. Did he well, die recently? Did he? Who? Probably. Chuck Woolery? Maybe. Pan- pancreatic cancer is what I'm guessing. Mm. All right, go ahead. Keep going. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking it up. It's on Netflix all around. It's on Netflix. Yeah, it's only three seasons, only eight episodes per season, and they're half hour. So you can knock it out in a day if you want to. But oh shit, Jane Seymour, sign me up. Jane Seymour's in it a little bit. Um, um, why am I I dead people? Jane Seymour does not get the uh, credit she deserves of being very attractive. Um, oh, I fucking it, think she's some a absolute I, smoke when, show. When, when when people talk about, but they don't. When they, they talk about old school, they they never bring her up. I think you she's her, amazing. Have you seen her on ba- it's, it's, Battlestar? It's, Gal- have you seen her on Battlestar Galactica? The original. Yeah, my original? my wife <laughs> uses it as a as a, a way to make fun of me all the time because I think older women are <laughs> are, are smoke shows, and and Jane Seymour is one of those older women that I think are smoke she shows. Is all, smoke all right, show. all right. So she Two always things. busts my chops <laughs> in front of people, saying, "Oh yeah, just ask Chris about Jane Seymour." I'm like, "Okay, okay. Hey, don't forget." <laughs> Don't she, forget, she, I, she I was motorboated like a son of a bitch by Vince oh, yeah. Vaughn for okay. good measure. Two, two things, two things. I didn't real quick. see that movie. Chuck, I, I no, he didn't that. motorboat and Back her. in two and two, two and two. He, Chuck, Chuck, Chuck Woolery is not he dead. Up no, he's still alive. He's a crazy, like, ultra MAGA guy. <laughs> okay. Well, I was wrong that he was dead. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to pull it back. How do we get off James Seymour? Back to the Chuck other Lurie. thing was smoke shows. My wife thinks that the term smoke show is actually like you're saying that they're not hot, that it's like a distraction, like a smoke show is like a smoke and mirrors kind of like. Smoke no. and mirrors. Yeah. yeah. No. And, I, and I'm like, no, I, I, it's a good thing, babe. And she's like, no, nah, I think it's a bad thing. And I was like, oh, you well, want to tell her it's a good thing? Well, it's, se- it's sexist, but, that's, but as far as guys, <laughs> I'm like, it's, it's a good thing. Is it sexist? Well, how sure is it sexist? It because you're 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 but a dude you're, can be a smoke but, show. Okay, yeah. yeah and when, you, you, when you women talk say. about dudes being smoke shows, is that's that okay? Sex, is that no, sexist? That, no, that's okay. But men cannot talk about women that way. I well, I think there's a line. I I'm just I'm just saying. I'm I think sure there's, there's somebody out there who's going to take some. Okay, I don't want to get into fuck off. That, <laughs> <I'm just saying laughs> that, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> like, Do there's we, nothing wrong with referring to someone in a term that's actually. There's nothing wrong with the term smoke show. It means that the person is hot, right? And and, and And that's what happens. But you're you're, you're, you're you're judging them for their looks and not for who they are. For fuck's sake. Okay. Really? I'm just, hey. I'm just, okay. I'm just here making There are the people argument. out there that Sorry. are listening to Kanye. I'm going to put them on my calendar they're, they're to okay see if I can get Kanye's to know music. Jane Seymour <laughs> better in 2023 just, so I can the same call thing. her a smoke show because I know. You know what? You know what? I'm going to try and get her on the please. show. Listen, mm, please. No, no, I'm no. writing it down. Get Jane Seymour on the show. I bought enough of her necklaces. Solitaire. For Cindy. 
Also, uh, Lisa Edelstein is on that show, and I think she is also a smoke show. Randy does bring up a very great point. It's true. Which, which is what? Uh, Mark, <laughs> smoke show. Mark, smoke show. She was, she was definitely yeah. hot. So was Aunt Beru. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if, I mean, I think, I think Joan of Arc probably had what schizophrenia, some type of a. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I mean. Oh, so now, now we're we're being medical doctors because we can just. I'm just people. calling it as it is. All of the the signs point to. So she we're we're, we're labeling it. we're 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 labeling her. I'm, and she's not, and she's not here to defend herself. Yeah, I think that's whoa, fair. Whoa, whoa, I'm on fire. Okay, now that's <laughs> a step too far. Okay, what do you mean? I'm sure, that's what she was saying. Well, that's what Randy was saying. When he went to see the boss. Tell me now, baby, are you good? Okay, anyway. But anyway, good show. <laughs> I like it because I think all four of us like it. It's, it's two grown-ass men bickering with each other pretty much ah. the entire series. Yes. All right. Um, the only hmm. down, the only bad thing about it is that Alan Arkin, which I did not know, is actually not, he is temporarily retired from acting. So he's only in the first oh. two seasons of the three seasons because he basically told hmm. them, I'm taking a break for a little while. Um, Alan Arkin, so, what's his, that's the son, not the dad, right? Alan Arkin? Um, no, he's Alan he's Alan Arkin's he's old. old. He's like he's like eighty eight. Yeah. Okay, so that's because the he son was, is he was in Little Miss Sunshine. Yeah, Little Miss Sunshine. Um, he was the the granddad. Okay, yeah. Who's mm, what's that his, was, his that son? was probably... Adam Arkin, right? Adam Arkin. Um, Lazan- Chicago Hope. Uh, Matthew. Mm, Matthew no. Arkin. No, it's it's Adam Arkin. The, the, it, he does have a son named Matthew Arkin, but I don't, I don't think he's anybody we where's, know. Where's uh, Matt Trees? I, don't, I haven't seen him yet. It might not be. Um, Here you go, Matt. Well, okay, I'm working on. Not it you, here. Matt. The other Matt. It's not all about okay. you. Um, so Alan Arkin is not. Um, oh, he's in Gross Point Blank too. He's yeah, still yeah. alive. Um, too. He's, the ther- he's the therapist. He's yeah. only five foot nine. Oh really? Now I have I'm, I have I'm run five, across I'm, some things on I'm, IMDb I'm five foot nine. which are not correct on height. By the way, <laughs> it's not Noah Arkin. It, it's. Um, <laughs> Noah's Ark in. <laughs> oh, I get it. Uh, um, does no one know who he is? It's Adam Arkin, isn't it? Adam Arkin. It's S. P. Arkin. <laughs> Sparkin. Sparkin. I, I agree. I, I agree. To Randy. just have the initials do the talking. Uh, Randy, I kind of agree. He, Randy just says he finished Wednesday tonight. It was kind of entertaining, but not my normal thing. I agree. Like. I think it's it's really witty in a lot of places that I loved because um, it does stay true to the Wednesday Adams character and process. I right. But it, it is I looked it up. Are know. you guys talking about Wednesday now? Wednesday Adams. Yeah, I mean, I'm just reading. Okay. Randy's we can go back to uh, no. I watched no, I mean, I don't, Sparky. I mean, I'm I watched just... the first episode and then Cindy said, "I'm not waiting for you," and she finished it. Oh, the it's whole good. It's show. Good. I mean, it is. It does Wednesday. kind of. It does kind of veer towards the whole like Harry Potter kid, young it's, kid it's game. bizarre, but it's good. Okay, is yeah. Will there will there be a Thursday? No. <laughs> Tuesday <laughs> afternoon. Do, 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 there has do, to be do, 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 a do, do, do. morning after. <laughs> Pill. Anyway, so. Oh, uh, I was going what? for the '70s song. You're going for current day. Hey, I'm just, I'm just saying. That song, Rain Man, Rain Man would know. I don't know. And that was not a water joke about your house. Mm, It is now. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I have some shows up to recommend. Yeah, let's hear it. Go for Um, it. After this commercial break, where he took, where he took one, where were you? No, he took a pee break. No, I just, I. Went out, looked at the moon, took a stroll. Howl. We weren't, we weren't, it wasn't that long a commercial. Okay. Go ahead, anyway, continue with your show. Anyway, uh, 1923 with uh, everyone's favorite Star Wars. Okay, now Harrison I'm Ford. getting confused on all of these dates. There's 1899, 1923, no, 1899 is completely 60. different. I can't remember completely, all these, and I, these... it got canceled, so I don't have to finish it. What era am I in now? This you know, that's the, how I this feel is the every time I'm watching a TV it's show. Yellowstone's. Uh, okay, okay so this is the got the Harrison Ford and Heron, Helen Miram who got Hen, to Helen Mira. You know, get down with a little bit of old. You do you think Helen Miram was like smoke oh, show? Right. She, but but do you think she was excited that she got to be like next to Harrison? I mean, I would think. 
Well, I think Helen Mirren is an incredibly attractive woman. Well, she could get it. Mm. She's she's been with. I mean, she's not been with. She's acted with a lot of famous oh. people. So guys. So she, yeah. Harrison Ford's like eh, okay, yeah, whatever. He's like, well, once you. So would you call her a goat? Greatest of all time. <laughs> um, no, I meant like Nancy, oh. like, like Nancy Reagan. Oh, Nancy Rick. I did, well, no, I wasn't meaning that. Oh, was I no, no, no. Uh, I wasn't going Nancy. I wasn't going Nancy Reagan with uh, Helen Mirren. No, but no, it's it's actually uh, three episodes in. It's really good. Nine. This is nineteen twenty. Nineteen twenty three. I okay. I I like it, and I'm gonna keep watching it. But I was a little because it basically the first episode especially it rips off Shane the movie Shane and it rips yeah. off it rips off uh, the ghost in the darkness as well and yeah. so the both the plots are two things we've already seen and I was like oh how did you not get sued for stealing these <coughs> two stories you can, you can do whatever you want in hollywood i guess will fry brings up another great point uh, 1899 which i know you guys probably have not watched yet but you know I Sam watched Rogers, the first two episodes i was yeah, going to wait of, till the next of, year yeah, shut up, Matt. Um, <laughs> eighteen ninety nine. Who the guys who wrote Dark? You know, got canceled by Netflix, which I don't know why because it was in the top uh, three, I think, for like two or three weeks. Because it's um, too fucking bizarre. I liked it. I watched. I watched the first two. My wife and I watched the first two episodes. I said, "Well, I think it's a British show." I kind of mm. sold her that way, and it's it's it's. She's That's watching German. it. She goes. She goes, yeah, this is not this is not British. Well, the previews I saw, they were speaking. The, they were speaking. The Germans. Yeah. Yeah, but then the Germans came in and you know ruined everything. Fucking Nazis. Matt said, uh, carry the one. <laughs> I mean, but, yeah, doing it, the, math. The, the, the problem with you have with 1923 <laughs> and 1880. Is it 1889? Yeah. It, okay. 1883. And, and Yellow's 1883 is trying to right. trying to piece together. Okay, who is okay? Who's that? Who's this? Who's that? And the best part of the 1923 part is the story in Africa. I, oh, find, that more, really? I find that more fascinating than but, the. Yeah, I like that, that story though. Is Africa. that that story is um, the do- Ghost in the Darkness with Val yes. Kilmer, and it's the same story except they changed I, it from I, I lions that. to cheetahs. And I was like, "What the fuck?" Anyway. I can't wait to get out of Africa. And Yellowstone season five is much, it's a lot better than season because season four was kind of okay. Eh. I don't know. I never watched See, it. I, season I heard five that, is, is really good. I heard that season three of The Mandalorian is already a flop, it's already not doing what, what Nick it's said. It's making is the it same out? mistakes. No, but there's already articles making this claim. Oh. And I'm like, what, what the fuck? Get this, sit the fuck down. Okay. Wait, what? what? Like, What's making the same mistakes? Uh, just it's like season three of Mandalorian is already making <laughs> oh. the same mistakes of the sequel trilogy, and I'm like, it's not even fucking out, out yet. Yeah, like, out. Sit down, sit down. And uh, John, the retired guy, says we finally watched Maverick. It's a uh, Maverick Top Gun. Yeah, just with the pens. Just, just pointing that out. And it was the same movie from the '80s, just with the pens. I disagree. I know yeah. he's saying he wore the pens on both. Oh, he times. wore the pens watching. Yeah, because it was like the because like, it's a long. Need, oh, because it's a long movie. No, you need he, it he, with those G forces, man. When he didn't have the pause. He, he died. He died. He, 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 <laughs> he dies in the first few minutes of the movie. The rest of it. Saying there's a reason is, John he's worked he's for in Brown. Purgatory. Maverick's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I thought the Maverick uh, Maverick Top Gun was better than Maverick or Top Gun. No, yeah, I did. Uh, I, thought was, I thought it was better. I you know I watched it as well because now it's what free on HBO or whatever. Like um, I, I like it. I like. No, I did. I saw. Yeah, I think Chris. Oh, that's right. You had someone. T- Chris Who was the one that had someone it's talking on, next on to Paramount? Him. I think Chris saw it first. One of us Wait. saw it first. Top Gun Maverick. I saw. I saw that. I saw in the theater the day that it came out. Yes, yeah, uh, yes, I thought. You, Chris saw it first, saw and it I first. saw it, and then you two saw it. But like, because I, I said the same thing. Like, I really enjoyed it, and then, but I said I thought it wasn't as good as the first one, and Chris thought it was better than at the time. Uh yeah. So, I, I don't know how to answer. I, I maybe I maybe I take that back in the sense that like I think it's hard to like compare the two, right? Like of its time, Top Gun was fucking amazing. Right. Hold a second. McLeod. Uh, there you go, Randy. McLeod. There you go. No, go ahead. Put up my comment. Honor right. McLeod. Uh, 
I think for for the, for for its time, like I think Top Gun, the original, was an amazing movie. Nothing oh, like it, was, it had it been done before, and like it was just it was just new to the cinematic universe, right? Oh no! But oh no, Goose! Oh no! And Top Gun Maverick, I think they they put all the right bits into it to make it as nostalgic as it needed to be and has entertaining. <laughs> I hope. I hope bring, the next bring, one's bring, called Top Gun. All the right bits. All the right bits. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was, I was, I was, right. Yeah, by the way, but like, we you think about it. They they did all the right things. Yeah, to they make did. that movie as entertaining as it possibly could be, while still being nostalgic, but not an annoyingly nostalgic movie. Right. Like, so I think that in that sense, they did it, the movie's fucking awesome. They did a phenomenal job. I, I, think, I think it's. I I was I was shocked how good it was. But I mean, I kind of liken it to like remember our discussion we had about like Avatar, right? But <coughs> like, did it ever come out? It did, right? And yeah, nobody I, fucking knows about it. Like, right. <laughs> well, I've known about it for a while. I haven't, known, it's, it's I haven't seen, met one person who's seen it yet, but yet it's still making yeah. lots of money. No, right? So, like, I mean, I, I think the last episode we were on, I was like, man, like, how did I, how, how did I just find out about this today? Oh, that's when right, it's that's coming right, out in yeah. four days. Um, it is the but, way of the water. But the thing is, though, like, what? That's it a good example. Of, like, 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 how do they make it as impactful as it was? What twelve years ago or thirteen years ago when it came out? Like, it was its first of its kind. Not unlike how Top Gun was first I, of its kind. Yeah, I I uh, let my son watch Avatar the first one because it's on Disney Plus. So I thought, oh, you know, you haven't seen it, and right. and my my daughter's just kind of like, nah, this is just too. Like the whole hoorah, like the got the the military part is just she's just nah, this isn't. So, um, but he liked it. I mean, he enjoyed it. But you know, it. I don't know if he was. I don't know. Well, I think I was like. I think Chris was saying. I I liked the first one. I watched it. I was saw it in the theater, mm-hmm. and I go. But yeah. I have no desire to watch the second one because it's been too long. And just like okay, but I I, I liked it, but I, I liked it, but it wasn't that great. I wasn't like right. Oh my god, Avatar two is right. coming out. I have to see it. I go, I'll watch it when it comes on. Like you had to go right. and see the first one because it like that like four not four K but like what was it like thirty it frames a second or it, whatever yeah, it was. It was something. It was, it was something that was. It was, and it, it was like it when really Star Wars came launched, out, New Hope. It, it was something different. It kind of launched yeah. the whole three D like movie. IMAX experience. Yeah, like I mean, for five to eight years after that, Avatar came out. All everything had to be IMAX three D. Right. I meant like I mean it. It changed that that scope of, of cinema theater viewing, you know, and, and <laughs> if it's great, that's, that's fine. Like I'm, I heard avatar blue. <laughs> like like Nancy Nancy. <laughs> uh, man, how did, guys yeah, this, on fire we got today. this far into the episode without making a Nancy Reagan reference? No, no, no I, uh, did. Nick, well, I did. Nick but, said it earlier. Yeah. About Ellen listening. Marin. I was trying to work it into Nick's house that was too wet to be approached, but uh, I just I didn't I didn't I didn't think maybe, it was appropriate. Maybe she blew the pipe. Make, I didn't want to make fun of Nick's travesty. Pipe so, just got too hard. Yeah, yeah. it was kind of like uh, <laughs> so. No, Nancy, not your teeth. Okay, anyway, so <laughs> so take, yeah, take them out. What were we talking about? I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, was, show you were watching. We we, we was, went we went all over the place. So yeah, we're we're, rec- was, we're make, making so yeah, show if, recommendations. If you, if you love Yellowstone, you're gonna love 1923, and you're gonna love Avatar. <laughs> and also, I'm still watching Tulsa King with a. With, uh, no. hey, my parent, my parent, uh, hey. Do you have to watch it with the subtitles on? Because I would sometimes. <laughs> But he, he walks like this. You know, I gotta walk like this because uh, I can't move because I, you know, I'm just I'm imagining stuck. the subtitles being like, <laughs> I, you um, know, it's 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 really gotten better the last because my wife goes, is he overacting again? Well, he's trying to act. Okay, let's. I mean, I like Sly Stallone. I, I like I mean, that I character is such a stretch for him. You know, yeah, the, the mob guy. Yeah, you know, uh, hey, he didn't want you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so i've got a couple of show recommendations as well okay 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 um it better be good i think i talked about it briefly but peripheral on prime video yeah, you did yeah uh, mm. so i finished that first season um it, it was one of those moments where i finished and i was like fuck i got to wait <laughs> uh-huh. the show they, they do a really nice job with this show 
Um, I, I don't want to give away like the plot because you don't find out what the plot kind of really is until like the second or third episode of the Would of you Burnett, would you say it? the plot is in the periphery? It is in the peripheral. <laughs> hey, oh. Um, but uh, they did a really nice job of kind of uh, blending you know science fiction uh, and future ap- post apocalyptic type of shit together. <laughs> per- peripheral. peripheral. Um, it, oh. the, it stars oh. um, Chloe Grace Moretz, also known as oh. um, Hit Girl. The, per- the Cleo, perforator. Cleo, Cleo Morton's, Morton's Grace. Yeah. Or, I don't know. Yeah. The Chloe Grace in, Moretz. Yeah. Is it Moretz? Oh, maybe I have it backwards. Okay. Maybe I got um, it forwards. No. <laughs> maybe it's in the peripheral. I don't know. It might be in the peripheral. Yeah. You, you know what's in the um, periphery of Nick's area is that you got dogs playing poker back there. I'm, I'm seeing in this room. So, yeah. Two, yeah. two, two. Yeah. Over yeah, here. Is, is, is that in the kitchen? No, this is um, it's downstairs my is parents' that, house. Is, is that your, your this, mom's thimble collection back there? This used to be my little workstation when I was a kid that I used to make models in. And uh, Chris is like, "Damn it, God damn it. I was just thimbles? talking about my shows." Oh, that little... I didn't finish talking about the first of two shows I wanted to recommend. Hey, okay, okay before, go on. Okay, hey, wait, wait. Before I forget, periphery. there was there was a scene in 1923 that reminded me of Matt. Oh, really? Oh, yes. They they go down to this. They're they're in. Uh, uh, is it Bo- Bozeman? Oh, I love Bozeman. Yeah, Bozeman, Montana. And they go down yeah. to the big city. Uh-huh. They go down to a speakeasy. I'm thinking. Okay. And oh yeah. And yeah. Me go, too. I thought he goes. He goes. What are those fancy people drinking? And he goes. Well, the men are drinking some gin drink, and the women are drinking bees knees. <laughs> Which she is, goes, okay, we'll drink those, and the women can all have bees knees. Hey. <laughs> I said, Matt, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, go okay, ahead, men men can drink the bees knees as well. Hey, hey, it's I'm not, not being just sexist. A, I'm also, being sexist here. You know. yeah. I'm not being sexist here. I'm just saying when you said bees knees, it's a I was, delicious Matt. fucking drink. My mom even was like, "What's a bees knees?" I was like, "I know." <laughs> <laughs> Let me make you up some. You got some lemons and some honey. Yeah. Let's call Matt. She kind of was like, like, I could kind of do without the honey, but yeah, I'll drink the gin and the lemonade. I was like, well, then it's not a bee's knees. No, yeah. the honey, the honey is is it, you. You got to mix it though. You got to mix it really good. Yeah. You want that that honey all mixed up. You don't want it. Yeah. So. Anyway, go ahead, Chris. I just I I had it written down here, bee's knees, and I forgot to talk about it. So go ahead, Chris. So peripheral, watch it. It's good. Uh, <coughs> I, I, I'm finishing the first season, and I'm a year late to this show, but. Um, but now White what's Lotus. it what's it on again yeah. by the way oh uh amazon peripheral prime. peripheral is on amazon prime video okay um and the second show i'm refer- referencing now is on mm. hbo max is white I've lotus been, i've been really curious about this show yeah i i gotta watch white lotus uh i'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna it's on my list to start as well i'm, I'm on the season finale of the first uh, first season mm-hmm. um Dude, I'm I'm digging the show. I think it was really well casted. Is it a is it a comedy or drama? Is it a dramedy? Yes. Is comedy, it a mystery? Drama, um, mystery suspense. Okay. okay. Um, so the show opens up with the, giving you the ending, essentially, which is is it a Nancy cliche. Reagan ending? Uh, but you, you, you find <laughs> out you almost find happy out ending. That, <laughs> You, you you get the context clues of this dude who it looks like he had a bad honeymoon uh, at a place in which somebody died. Oh, the week that he was there. Oh, wait, like that's party. the opening. Like Hold he's, on he's a sitting. John, the retired guy, says White Lotus is fantastic. Yeah, okay, I don't have to watch it now. <laughs> and then the entire season is kind of like uh, going over this this week of like uh, vacation week step. of like three to four different groups of people, and all the while you're getting all these little hints of like. Okay, so you know someone dies, but they you don't find out who dies. Like you are trying to piece it together. Like you're seeing <coughs> thought, all these storylines happen. I they so you're kind of the like, ending. Well, they, they somebody dies is the beginning, like an opening line mm. of the of the That's of the like, series. It's like any uh, angel. But they don't say grade. who, right? Right, Where and then and that this guy who's sitting in a like, standby at the airport. He was explaining how like he was on his honeymoon and he's not with his wife in the airport. Oh, so then of oh. course you think it's the wife. So you think the first thing you think is, is it the right. wife that's dead? And there's uh, all these other storylines that kind of happen uh, simultaneously that you're like, oh, dude, I wonder if that person's going to die. It was right, I wonder if this school wonder of rock, story right? is going to be in this. Right. Uh, so, but the, the, the acting is great. So we got some, uh, you know, you've got um, 
Who you got? Tell us who you who, got, who kid. You, who you got Stif- here? Stifler's mom. You got Stifler's mom is in it. Oh, yep. yeah, I love Stifler's Jennifer mom. Coolidge. Uh, who was she's also, in, she's also so in my Who was also range. an episode of Seinfeld. What episode of Seinfeld was she in? Don't know. Soup Nazi. Force Next. Massage. He was a masseuse. You got um, um, massage. Connie Britton. Okay. Um, oh, from Friday, Friday Lights. Lights mm. In yeah. Nashville. Love me some Connie. Uh, Steve Zahn. Oh, Steve Zahn. I love oh, Steve Zahn. That thing. Brother you of Timothy yep. Zahn. Love the trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it going. Uh, you have a, 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 a few episodes of John Grease. So happy. Roger Workman <laughs> slash Uncle I, I Rico. Got, I got what you said, Nick. But and, uh, yeah. Okay. You, you, yeah. You, you, you oh, Roger, Work- Roger Workman's yeah. in it. There we go. Yeah. That's, Roger that's, Workman's uh, in it. He's also an episode of Seinfeld. Plays a homeless guy. Uh, who else from like a. Who, who, no, no, was. Cast? Is it, oh, uh, what's her name? I, uh, Aubrey uh, Plaza is she in it? Yeah, she is she, in it. So I haven't seen, I have not seen her yet. So I'm assuming she's probably in season two. Okay, but okay. Uh, mm. but uh, what's her name? Uh, Molly, not Molly, is it Molly Shannon? Yeah, Molly hey, Shannon's in it. Yeah, what's Molly her name? Who's who's married to um, hey. <laughs> who's married to Nick Offerman? <laughs> Oh, that oh, um, oh, from, uh, girl from uh, the uh, uh, Will and Grace. It's Will and Grace, Grace. Yeah. No, um, not her. I'm. Th- it's. It's. I know. It's, I, know. I, think... I know who you're talking about now. Mm. The that's Molly Shannon. Oh, that's Molly, Molly Shannon. Shannon. Yeah, Molly, Molly Shannon. Shannon. Molly Shannon's in it. Um, but, but yeah. Molly Shannon's not married to Nick. Superstar. No, nope, no. I, I, yeah. I got those two confused for a hot okay. second. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Um, that's okay. Confused. That's, oh, that's and then uh, the the one of the female leads is uh, you remember San Andreas, that terrible movie about. Um, earthquakes in the rock. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It's like his the daughter to La Brea. Who, whose fault was it? His daughter <laughs> no is one's in it fault too, but her and own. she's she's an, she's amazing in this in this Who's show. Who's that? Uh, the daughter from uh, San Andreas. She's also got her own show coming out about vampires and shit coming up. Um, oh, we need another vampire. Show. Oh, um, and another earthquake. Yeah, Yab- Yabio, whatever her name is. <laughs> I don't know. Can name. we make tall, one tall, with skinny woman? Yeah, yeah like, the, what's well, I don't know her name is she's in she was in Baywatch and she, Pan Am. I mean another airplane she, show, she, she was quick show Am. and a vampire show. If we could match those up, I think we'd have. Where's some Matt Trees today? God damn, Alexandria Daddario. That's yeah, her, Daddario. I never can say his name. It's better if we don't know, because that way the <laughs> listeners bless oh, me. Um, can send us. Uh, bless me. I I'm not. I'm not gonna do it, man. I just, no, it's, I'm not gonna. Hey, you know, you know what I you, found out today? What? You know, what I found out today. I was listening hmm. to the sports show oh. on uh, Mad Dog Radio. They have Ooh. an all. They have a Catholic radio station. <laughs> huh? They have a Catholic radio station. I'm like, oh, why is that just, funny? I I just was. Yeah, someone gets like, Catholics. There's a couple I, of Catholics on this show. Yeah, not anymore. Not I'm sorry. I, I, I was just thinking, okay, okay, little boys can't listen to this. To this I was Catholic sure. until I reached the age of reason. I go, so, really? There's a, there's a Catholic radio station? That was a, Come on, that, was a, that was a real weird left turn there that we took there with that conversation. Well, you, I forget what we were talking about, but uh, I don't know what we were oh, talking about. Were we not a recommendation, about not a recommendation but a heads up that I know Nick will be excited about. Um, season three is currently uh, in production lost. and will be the final season of Ragnarok. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I was, was going to say getting antsy. Else. I looked that up the other day. I'm not, well, a month ago or so, but yeah. So yeah, yeah. it's happening. Um, so it's going to be surrounded uh, Thor, La- uh, Lourdes, uh, Fjord, Saxa, or Sasha, whatever her name is, uh, Gree, Turid, <laughs> Vidar are coming. I got a hammer. Um, yeah. I'm I'm excited about Ragnarok. It's a good it was, yeah. I mean, it was great it, show. It reminds it reminds me of Sesame. It was a Sesame Street that had the uh... yeah. It totally reminded me of that. No, with so, the music. They, they had the some. They had some guy. They had some. They had some character like that name. Are you thinking like of Fraggle Oscar Rock? Oscar the Grouch. Fraggle Rock. That's what you're thinking of Fraggle Rock. <laughs> what? That's the what hell? it is. I I don't know. Fuck. I'm uh, old. Going back I'm to you. old. Yeah, I've had too many you. bees knees tonight. I know. I'm wondering how many edibles you've had tonight. None, I kind of no, uh, my sister mm-hmm. made me watch Glass Onion while I was at her place. Did any of you guys watch that yet? I I have not watched Knives Out yet. Yeah, I wanted to see Knives Out before I saw Glass Onion, but I've also heard that maybe you can watch I've, Glass I've, Onion I've without seen Knives, knives Out. Knives and out. I, I wasn't. Yeah, it's not. It's not a direct sequel. 
Okay, so you could just problem, jump right in. The problem yeah. with Knives Out, yeah, it's you think it's a who done it. Okay, and it's not. Oh, yeah. it's a you know it. You know, yeah, it. and and it, that pissed me off because I'm trying to oh. guess the whole time. I go, oh, now you're gonna fucking tell me. Oh yeah, it's like yeah. It's, it's, it's a glass onion is too. Like, uh, oh, you, so you I, know I, it. You know it the whole time. It's Ryan no, Johnson. It's Ryan That's Johnson. It's your boy. So he Motherfuckers. He like, so. God damn it. Not to, I'm yeah, not gonna it, get spoilers. Does Steve Martin it, it, show it up too? Me, it, 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 it pissed me off. I was like, fuck well, this. So yeah, like it, you. I knew who the killer was in Glass Onion within the first twenty minutes. Uh, well, because you you peeled it back, right? Well, it's, just, it, it's it's obvious. It's back obvious. The walrus back. was Paul. Yeah, the walrus was Paul. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's Shut some the clever. Up, there's, there's some clever things Shut in it. The fuck and up, some Really dumb things in it. But, uh, so anyway. is, so so you is it better than the first one? Because it costs a hell. It costs a hell of a lot of money, didn't it? Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, I, 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 I said no. You, you lost me in the first. I yeah. when I'm when I'm thinking it's a who done it. I want to be able to solve the who done it. Right? Yeah. Don't don't fucking make it so obvious mm. that anyone like Matt could figure it out. No, don't make it like that. No. Okay. Speaking of who done it's, um, Quantum Leap is a show that I've been been watching. <laughs> it's the only new current show that I actually. I'm stuck like, on. Oh. I haven't. I I haven't completed. I've so they they they're back from their mid break. It wasn't really a big. I mean, they there's a big kind of like what in the you know, but then then they of course don't come back to that. You know, it's on. To the Are you past thing. the bad acting? No, no, I'm I'm in it to win it. Okay, I'm just <laughs> hook, line, and sinker with Quantum Leap. <laughs> You're giving me more quantum leap, and I'm I'm hoping and praying that one day, you know, um, Dr. Sam Beckett is going to step out of that quantum leap accelerator and say, "I'm home, guys." He never return home. We know. That. No, 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 no. <laughs> I want redemption home. for this. I want it to happen. Okay, <laughs> just let me have this. He's got to come home and and just like say, you know what, guys, I'm tired. Okay. That being said, I just happened to watch a random this episode that was just the the first one back with my son. And it was funny because I think he likes the mystery. Like he likes the mystery kind of aspect of it. So, you know, we watched like maybe like the first third of the, the, the episode and he was like, no, I, I need to find out like what hat, like who who killed her and like who, you know, like he was like he was really Spoiler. in on the mystery. No, there's no there's no I mean, it's just. It, every episode of Quantum Leap is kind of like a mystery. Like, how did this person die, or what does he need to do to fix and, whatever course, is wrong? And, and he doesn't know how to be who he is. Okay, like one he's thing. A doctor, when, he's this. He's that. Well, okay, one thing about this though is that Doctor Sam Beckett, when he was a doctor, and so he always had that kind of in his bag doctor, of tricks. Doctor. With this new Quantum Leap, Ben, he is not. And so sometimes when I'm like, ben, Ben's like, just he's, a loser. When well, when Ben steps into certain situations, I'm like, "Oh, dude, you're oh, fuck, that's right, you're not a doctor, okay?" Not that I think less of him, I just think oh, I I, shit. I think I think less of him. <laughs> I I watched the first episodes, I liked it, but then yeah, you know, when when you mentioned the acting, I was like, the oh, acting's oh. like I said, okay, I go, level. what is bothering me with this show? Yeah. And I, I said, when you said acting, I go. Oh, yeah, no. that's like, it's, it's, that's it's the not, spice that's missing. It should be it's on. Just, it should be on like a Netflix or a Hulu. And, and it doesn't. The cast doesn't actors. gel to me. No, I think maybe doesn't. because they're they're so disparate. There's not a cohesive like gel to that team, no, and that's what that's not. what you want from any show. It's like it's what you want from your football teams. You know, it's what you want from your you you want the Colts to complete the game against Minnesota. You want to say, hey, we're up by thirty three points. We should win. I don't want to talk about that game. I didn't watch that game. <laughs> I think there's a more important game that everybody's talking about, and it's that Monday I, night game. I, and I, of I all the things that to happen on a Monday night, if this happened on a Sunday, on a one o'clock game, it'd be a totally different story. But because this happened on a Monday, I you agree. Have all but week, I think you have all week to talk the, about this incident. The the situation was was you know he was basically dead on the field, had to be revived. It, and it's, for it's, people for, for people to sit there and say, "Oh, they got to continue the game." I'm like, going, yeah. what the fuck are you talking about?" I go, right. "Look at the play. Look at the, because that's how you knew it was serious." Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the players. I mean, it wasn't like you know we've seen people where their their legs are bent back and they're it, it's bad. Well, like this you could, this you, you could see, season's you could see the not play, been great for the NFL. 
I mean, everything no. from from the 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 second concussive hit uh, from that Miami uh, Dolphins Tua. quarterback. Yeah, and then they had another concussion, and they didn't. They have they're supposed to have spotters. Yeah, and they didn't see it because all of a sudden against it was against Green Bay. I'm like going, the hell is his problem? He's he's like he's messing receivers that are wide open, and he threw like three bad, and, and then find out oh he's got a concussion. All right, here's a guy mm. who's had two concussions. Yeah. You have a team of doctors watching every play, and you didn't. And then they, I finally saw the play where he, he probably did it. He got tackled. He threw the ball t- and he hit it back of his head. <sighs> well, I go. They didn't see that. I'm I'm here to tell you, like I had a student. Um, this is um, it's been a, several years since this happened. Uh, he was on one of those uh, like electric scooters that you see in cities mm-hmm. nowadays. You know, you see them all over the place. These electric scooters. He hit the curb or something, right? He went flying on one of these things. Like just that thing hit a curb, boom, he's he's airborne. And he, I mean, he had a huge gash down his, his, his forehead. Horrible, horrible injury. I have never told a student to go home. He came to school. I mean, what a trooper. He came to school like maybe just a day after this happened or two days after credit? this happened. What's up? You didn't give him extra credit? For showing up. Well, no, I told he, him. He, I told him to go home because of but what no, but I. He, he no, should but get like, like extra, for showing up. He should get extra. Credit. Well, yeah, okay. Let's just say that that he finished the class and and he passed the class and 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 decent. Well, did uh, he get a did he get an A? I I don't remember that, Jack. It's been it's been did, since COVID. You, okay, it's been you, since COVID. You, are, the point the of the story. <laughs> the point of the story that you're missing here is is that he had this horrible concussion, and he had this horrible accident, right? And I remember him coming to class and drawing and looking at the way this student was drawing after he had a concussive hit like just a couple days before. And to know that there are football players that go back into a game and seeing the results, like the visual results, like understanding like it it ain't it it? ain't right. It was like the the value was just all off and distorted. Like it just, you know, so. I don't know what's fucking being Nick. said said in the <laughs> Well Nick Nick said it was a fucking masterpiece, wasn't it? <laughs> Kids well, fucking it's, brains it's, scrambled eggs. So he's drinking to be, fucking to be fair, it's art. It, it, it could I, be a masterpiece. No, it was not. But at the point is It was it was different from what he's normally drawn. I I saw I saw the react the I saw the actual visual results of someone who had a concussion. And to know that there are football players out there that get rocked like that, right? And they got to get back out on the field and throw a ball and try to like hit that target. Well, the problem is fucking not, forget not, about it. Nowadays, nowadays rules are not supposed to be doing that. They're not supposed to be doing that. Especially but you, two of them that you should have probably taken the rest of the season off because he's so susceptible to more concussions. Because he's had he had two. I mean, he had that one bad one where he's having convulsions on the field. Oh yeah, yeah, that was bad, and it, it was bad enough or that apparently you canceled your your thing. Monday night recap. You know, well, I, it was recap. like five minutes before it was supposed to go on. I, t- I, t- I, s- I sent a message to my Mike. I said, "Look, I can't. We can't do this. I mean, there's no way. I mean, it's just bad." I mean, speaking of, I don't know if you guys saw the news. They actually did cancel the game. It's not going to be resumed. Yeah, it's, it's canceled. Mm-hmm. And but who's the winner? Is it a tie? Playoffs. Yeah, it's a no contest, so there's no, so they're they're open. To, I guess they're going to have the home. No one's oh. going to have home field advantage, and that game can be played at a neutral site. Um, I'll fucking so, tell you who's no, not, right not that now. Game, the John, they, yeah. <laughs> the retired guy. You come over here. I'll tell you who's. Well, they're they're cost. they're talking about. Actually, I read today they're talking about putting an eighth team in the AFC. What? And, and having the top two teams having a bye. Which is ridiculous. Wow. But but they're it's just going back and forth. I said my my first I said okay. But you said co- the top two teams are at a bye. Yeah, but now you have seven teams in the playoffs. Right, right. I mean it's been I I, I I what I you know both coaches mm. agreed they weren't going to complete because McDermott he said look I can't he goes I can't, he, when the other coach came out from Cincinnati he said I can't coach this game I got I got to go to the hospital with my guy. Well, dude, you, you got you got players right now that are questioning whether or not they can play this Sunday. I know. I think they've made the 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 seasons too long, for mm-hmm. one. 
And you know, so, I, I I saw this this happen. Se- with... Seven. I I can't believe the players' association agreed to seventeen games. Yeah. Well, uh, those players me... signed off on it, knowing that they wouldn't be around to have to deal with it. But the problem is, is that the longer they keep making these seasons with 17 games and now like making the playoffs longer, it's the NFL just wanting to capitalize on all of that, that marketing. Yeah. I mean, like let, let's just be real on it. But the problem is, is that there's not enough players to keep the game going, no. you know, long enough to actually have a decent team. Like what well, you gotta, you gotta plan for two quarterbacks, one that you start with and one that you finish with. It's, yeah. I don't it's know. crazy. Just, well, you, well, cause you know, Demar Hamill, Hamlin, he he's a six round draft choice. He probably will never play again. No, he's only guaranteed forty nine thousand dollars the next for the next two. Years. His contract is his only thing is guaranteed is his bonus, which was forty nine thousand dollars for four years. His contract is not guaranteed. So the one point six million or whatever, it, it, it's like okay, he's not guaranteed that contract. Plus, he gets no insurance because he didn't play long enough. The NFL could really just say, screw you, you're on your own. They're not going to. They can't. There's no way they can. They will do that. But what I'm saying is. He's not going to pay a dime for his health insurance. He's going to be taken care of. I mean. Yeah, but but still his his contract is the 1.8, whatever it is. Now, it would go against the Bills cap, but they don't have to pay him. That's what I'm saying. They will. I no, guarantee they will, you that because... they'll, they'll sign him to a guaranteed contract for 20 years and they'll just keep him on the payroll. I don't think that, that they, they should. I mean, if they, if, they, if should, they, if they, if they NFL, don't take care of him, that's a fucking dick. And move. NFL owners don't do that. That's the problem. Give him, give him at least a league minimum for 10, 15, 20 years. I, I, I don't know. Like I, he, this has never happened before. Right. So like no, people, no, have, no, again, you, had, never... you, had, you, had, you had a player die before on the field. Who? 1971, Detroit, uh, Detroit line wide receiver. Died on the field. 1971. Oh, I don't think I knew that. Now he, it was like a minute and a half left in the game. He had he had a heart valve that I guess it was like 75% blocked. Oh. And so it wasn't anything that happened on the field, but he did die on the field. I'm right, drawing too a blank much on his beers name. And fries. Am I right? But but here's here's the other thing too. Like, I mean, <laughs> cardiac arrhythmia, which is, I, I think I believe was, was what he had, or a cardiac arrest from a cardiac arrhythmia potentially. Mm-hmm. Um like that doesn't necessarily mean it happened from football, right? No, they don't know. So, like that's that's there's a lot of people talk a lot of talking heads out there saying, oh, they could have prevented. It. Like I don't know. Like my my there's my no good way friends. No, it was one one of my one of my good friends, Chris. He passed away when when we were uh, I was seventeen, he was eighteen. Uh, he passed away on Valentine's Day, and it was mm. a fucking soul crushing thing for my friends and I and our, our in our community <laughs> in our town. Um, but he had an undiagnosed um, cardiac or like a cardiac issue with his, where he had like a an arrhythmia due to like a deformation that no one knew about that he had, mm-hmm. um, or deformity, a deformation, deformity that no one knew he had, um, and he died in his sleep, right? Mm-hmm. And it wasn't from like granted, it wasn't from a hit or whatever, but uh, is is was it caused by the hit? I have no idea, but I, I don't think we're gonna know mm-hmm. that for a long time. Well, but, I guess the, the, the go ahead. Uh, but the, the the good side of this, I don't know if you've heard any of the good news, is that you know today he uh, was conscious, hanging out with his family, wrote down, communicated Who to won? win, which was just kind of yeah. cool. Um, but the the really good news uh, that kind of came out of this is that you know he actually had like a toy drive for kids yes. on GoFundMe that he had set up, and on Monday morning, the GoFundMe goal was twenty five hundred bucks, and he had twenty nine. Hundred bucks was was were donated to his toy drive, hmm. and I checked right before I got on the show tonight. And it's already at almost seven point six million dollars. Wow! Donated to the that GoFundMe. That's incredible. Like, huh. like yeah, he's, football he's players, be, baseball really... players, like celebrities are all donating money. Like it's 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 pretty actually incredible. The, it, what's uh, what's the Colts owner? Uh, Jim Irsay. Irsay. He's mm-hmm. donated the most. Yeah, Bob Kraft uh, donated a bunch too, which my wife actually really in, enjoyed because I think he donated like um, eight eighteen thousand and three dollars. Eight thousand, yeah, because in because his in, number is three. His number is three, and uh, in the in the Jewish heritage, like the all the gifts end in like eighteen. Cause it has to do like a with like some numerical thing about life and, and oh, health. Huh. Um, so he did that very intentionally. So you know, Pete for, Manning's a Jew. No, Bob Kraft. 
Not sorry. Peyton Manning. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just. Uh... Is that from? Isn't that from the Adam Sandler song? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. No, but seven point five but, million now is my mic. So it, it, I mean, I don't know his 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 long term. Uh, what you know, he's probably going to have some effects, but I, but he is doing better. Yeah, I mean, literally, yeah. he died on he died on the field. I mean, he, yeah. He had twice. Re- yeah, he had, well, once in the field and once in the ambulance. I wonder yeah. if he yeah. had any like afterlife like like effects, you know, like like you know, you know. Well, he didn't know if his team won or not. It's true. Sure. Well, that's true. Sometimes, uh, but sometimes, like people when they leave their bodies and they die, like they see their body, you yeah. know, from the outside. Um, I don't want to. I don't like, want to see my body. It's like. <laughs> God, you have to live in it for so long. What happened to me? <laughs> You're like, oh man, that's just. Can I get a? Can I get a? Can I go back in time and do a different body? I mean, people have been people have been begging Patrick Swayze to do Ghost Two forever, and he still won't show up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> 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 Well, he had the time of his life. Too soon? That's the funniest, <laughs> that's the funniest shit I've heard today. That's awesome. Uh, that, that was Nick, by the way, if, you, if you're yeah. offended by that. That was that awesome. Joke, was <laughs> yes, I know I'm going to hell. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it's, it's, it's so confusing on what they're going to do. But yeah. like I said, I think, you know, since both coaches – Agreed, they weren't going to continue because there was reports coming out that the NFL said, "Okay, get these." I like the out. idea of the, both coaches arm wrestling. You know, like they just come out on the middle of the field, they arm wrestle whoever gets yeah, it. That's, that's it's like, okay, idea. that's it. That's a fantastic idea. But thank anyway. you, thank you, thank you I, so I much. I will say, I will say, like, in not <laughs> not taking away from what the the real I am not the either situation is of of Demar Hamlin, you know, almost I'm, dying. But the implicate. Yeah, go ahead. Jack, Sorry, shut I... up, Jack. <laughs> Jack? Yeah, exactly. You're being yeah. Jack. <coughs> He's being a Jack. He ain't lying. So, but the uh like the importance obviously is is that you know Damar Hamlin's okay, but like the impacts that it's had not just on the game, but like in the in the betting world is huge. Oh right? like right. in fantasy football, as an example. Betting. This has no importance over Demar Hamilton's life whatsoever. Yeah. But my championship of my fantasy football team was way in the wings based upon what was going to happen to the outcome of that game. I won. Champion of the year. Thank Suck you very it. much. <laughs> because of the um, accident? No, not because. So going into that game, he had uh, one he my my opponent had re- a receiver who was on the on uh on uh, Cincinnati and he had he would have to have scored like 48 points to 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 beat oh. me at that point but we, we we didn't call it until after we started recording and while we're recording i got a venmo message that i, that I got money because i won my league nice yes. uh, but it's had to, crazy uh, impacts everywhere you know to donate to hamlin's uh toy drive i, I yeah, could do that i think i'm not guilty you that. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not guilty you, but i'm just saying i could do that <laughs> Yeah, you can help me. You can, you can, give, it me. You can give it to me. I, I need to replace my floors. Mike, I mean, I got electrical saying, issues. I got to take care of too. You know, Mike. Mike's saying uh, none yeah. of the the sites know what to do about with the fantasy championships. They're they're just like figure it out yourselves. So, well, they they couldn't really do anything about it. Really, I yeah. Mean, you, you had to look at the outcomes, and they. But I mean, like this, it's like such a crazy thing to think about all the money and betting, Huge. and I mean championships and. But you know, it, it didn't matter because the, his life. It's only yeah, thing that no, it, that, it totally that was the only thing that mattered. At that yeah. and I, I haven't even brought it up until I realized that he's going to be okay. Yeah, I mean, and it was it was, it, it was a scary situation, like I said. But I, what I'm trying to say, but Matt keeps interrupting me, he keeps being Jack. It's a commercial <laughs> break time. Thank you that, so much. That both coaches agreed they weren't going to continue the game. Now, rumor is the NFL has said, hey. You got to warm up in five minutes. They're denying that. Right. But if both uh-huh. coaches agreed we're not going to continue the game, it should end in a tie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go. I mean, I think that's and a then fair... and then and then yeah. you pick whoever has the best winning percentage at the mm. end of the season right. after this week gets first. You know, first round number one seed, number two, three, four, and all say all the way down the line. I think adding an, adding another playoff team is ridiculous. Some of these, I mean, 
Do the Patriots deserve to be in the playoffs? No. Do the Dolphins deserve to be in the playoffs? No. I mean, the, the AFC is – you got like five teams that are really good. You know, yeah. The Chargers, six teams. But, you know, I, I, people keep saying the Chargers, the Chargers. Okay. I added up the teams they've beaten. Their their mm-hmm. overall record is 53 and 106. Just saying. So hopefully the Chargers don't win the Super Bowl. Because Jack did the math, so you didn't have to. You didn't know <laughs> that this was a math podcast, but he did the math for you. I did the math, and if Chargers I did it twice, have a five and one chance of making anything happen. Well, now, anything they, they have Justin Herbert, anything can happen. But Ooh, Nick left, so we can see what's on else is on the table. There's like a light bulb box, and there's a oh. There's a little bird on the shelf. Those, back those, there. those lamps are from the 50s. I think there's a display case back there with wood and glass. And mm-hmm. like what's that? What's that? What's that right there? It's like why are the lampshades like like Lysol? like uh, popcorn yeah. boxes? Coca Coca-Cola clock. Oh, right? the Coca-Cola clock. And there's a refrigerator. And there's he cowboy. Totally in like a hangout room. He is totally in a hangout room. Oh, I didn't room. I didn't see that. Nice. I think Nick is annoyed that we're. Uh, oh, oh! There's an ammo box that is definitely a gun safe. That's a gun rack. Oh, you gun know safe. you nice. are in the south. Boom! Wow! Fort, Fort fucking not. At least they're locked up, so Nick can't get a hold of them. There's definitely some grenades in there too. Oh, I know the combo. His family probably locked him up when <laughs> Nick showed up. <laughs> anyway, Let's make it the so, highest anyway. number because it'll be the hardest one for him to guess. Nine 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 nine. <laughs> No, no, no. You sound German. Nine, 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 nine. If if you need to leave, you know we can. We'll just talk about the things while you're away. Oh, we're good. I was just. I thought I saw a mouse. So I was... shit just got real. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I don't like mice in my house. Just... Nobody yeah. likes mice in their house. I Nobody. Just, probably just my eyes playing tricks on me. <laughs> Maybe it's like one of those mouse. ghost mice, like from Patrick Swayze. Yeah, <laughs> they're He's over like, there playing with they're over there playing with a play doh. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it's so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> by, the, by the way, I just want to clarify: never, never have I ever found art making to be like a sexy experience that I need to share with someone. Like, 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 there's other movies that'll depict like painting like in the nude and other things like that it's like no well, you know why just... you're, do- you're doing it wrong no no <laughs> there's no fun like just that's, that's, that's the problem the sex that's a problem with art you, you could get more you could get more people doing art if it was sexier with the... no, no no you, you don't need that, to bring paint in with your naked bodies okay just leave the paint out of so there's probably cadmium want lead paint in there or something you're just messing you wouldn't with want to do a, a, a clay project with demi Moore. you know you like to do sculpting no she's you never know. been my type so yeah. you know no. wow. you like to make a, a mold you know of certain I've, pieces i've never found demi Moore to be attractive i'm sorry <laughs> really? really yeah really? no oh man wow. she was you, you didn't like her oh, gi I mean, I think no. she's incredibly maybe the attractive. seventh seal but that's I, I'm it gonna say, i'm gonna say it she, she was a spoke show I, I th- yeah, yeah like, I'm gonna be se- I'm gonna be sexist. And decent, pro- a, decent proposal oh, yeah, and um, oh yeah yeah yeah. Don't see it. I just um, don't see it. That whole early sense. Like Robert period. Redford should have to pay for sex. That that, that whole early nineties period. She's a smoke show. Like just she still is, dude. I don't. No, have you seen no. a recent picture of her? It's like plastic surgery gone wrong, dude. Oh really? It's, it's bad. Oh really? Yeah. She looks well, like before that, bef- before that, she. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Oh, what'd you say? Check, check the tape. Check the tape. <laughs> check the tape. Wow, she does have some work done, huh? Yeah, a little bit. I think that's why. Oh Ashton shit! Kushner was Wait, like, is that real? I gotta get out of here. That's real. That is real, my friend. <gasps> oh no! What, watch. I, I recommended it. Let the court reporter ago. show that Chris's face was shocked and amazed, as though he opened the box. Yeah. Well, so, dude, I mean, she has, he pooped, it's almost like he pooped his pants. She she thought. has a cameo in um that uh, massive weight. Of, I mean, the weight of massive talent. You know, the Nick Cage movie I recommended to you guys. Oh, um, I she's thought she's going to be in GI Jane too. With uh, Pat, <laughs> Jada Pinkett Smith. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, she has a cameo. I heard a lot in, about it. See. And when she looks like hmm. that in well, that movie, to be, to, to be fair, it's probably the early. She probably had a lot of Botox. Why, why does her collarbone look like that? She has like too many. And she's had her cheeks done, right? Well, well yeah, it looks like an alien. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, uh, yeah, she it's didn't. like a weird Michael Jackson kind of thing going on there. So yeah, I don't. I she should have stopped. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll get her on the show with uh, anyway. James Moore. Anyway, in that movie, she has nope, a cameo. Didn't it like her in striptease. Me never, a, it, never really been a Demi Moore fan. Sorry, I'm just not. Yeah, it took me you longer. Didn't like her in Saint Elmo's Fire. Mm-mm. I've never seen that because I always got bad people. But have seen it. You didn't like Sam? You didn't. You never saw it. Never saw it. It's one of the few '80s movies I have not seen because, really? like, everyone I know who's seen it was like, "Yeah, it's just okay." So I was like, "Okay." It's. I think it's I, don't, I remember it's not, watching it's not Breakfast back in the Club, day, but you have to don't. you have to watch it. It's got Rob Lowe in it. Jane Seymour is only 11 years older than Demi Moore. Jane Seymour is how old is Jane Seymour? 71. 70. 71. So she, okay. So she's 11 years older than me. Helen Miram rocking in Miram. at 78. Yeah. 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 So and and uh Meryl Streep, I think she was like 74, maybe. Well, she's Wayne, she's Wayne Gretzky in drag. So what? She's Wayne Gretzky and what? <laughs> Wayne Gretzky and drag. That was a Saturday, My, uh, 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 Mary Gross from Saturday Night Live said. That. I don't see that. She said. She said that. Well, I, can, Seymour, I just I, don't I can see totally it. see it. I can totally see it. <laughs> if you look, if you look at Wayne Gretzky at that point back back in the eighties and Meryl Streep, yeah, that it's like she's okay. Wayne back Gretzky to Demi Moore. Right? Don't find her attractive, but Courtney Cox, I do find attractive. So well, she's had bad bad plastic surgery too. Right. Well, I'm just right. talking about Friends era because that's all I'm subjected Early to. Early Friends so, era, later um, Friends era. No, no, mm-mm. she got too yeah. like last couple like, of seasons. No, I thought she. I, I think she was on like the same drugs that Chandler was on. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Actually, I think it's because she was um was trying to conceive, but she had like hormonal problems, so she was taking oh, a no. lot of hormones. That's why she huh. looks so much different in the last couple of seasons. Of okay, that friends. makes sense. Huh. And she named her kid Coco. But it's, it's just like, um, look, when you guys <laughs> see, if you guys watch the Kaminsky method, um, yeah. Kathleen Turner is in a few episodes, and it's like oh. it's one of those things that, you know, you kind of feel sorry for her because she yeah. has to take, and, you know, it's just like, wow. Because you look or at her like, like Romancing or like the Stone. Michelle and, Pfeiffer. Romancing the, she, yeah. was, she was the real deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She and was then, a smoke show. Or like Christy Alley. You know, like yeah. you look back Kirstie at Christy. Kirsty, thank you, Kirsty. You look back at like her in like uh, Star Trek Two. Mm-hmm. You know, like what the hell, man? Ooh. Cheers, cheers. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Yeah, for sure. And, and now she passed away. Look who's talking. Oh, right. dude, yeah, great movie. She's not talking now. She, she passed Aww. away. Thanks for making that oh, up, man. She, she didn't. I don't think she got the. Uh, I mean. She'd get the fan uh, she I let that joke play. I think that that's appropriate, actually. I think that was well executed, and I, yeah, I think yeah. we should let that one roll. <laughs> hey, I didn't. I didn't punish him. She I, I don't good. think. I don't think. She, I don't think she got the. There wasn't enough ma- fuss made. I thought she was very talented. You could disagree with her yeah. politics, obviously, but I thought she was very talented, very funny. She was extremely funny on Cheers, and she was. Yeah. I just thought she didn't get the. But, uh, it's, but it's not like right. she was like. I mean, okay. There's like a handful of things that she's involved with. It's not like, it's not like when I, Barbara Walters she, died. She was in nor- like... North and South. She was in North and South. Okay. With Patrick Swayze and Lavar Burton. Lavar Burton was Lavar mm-hmm. Burton in that. Yeah, he was not. He, he was, was North and South. Oh no, I'm thinking, 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 thinking Roots. Thinking Roots. Sorry, thinking of Roots. They were both about the South. Well, there, there, really. there was a guy. What's what's the guy that played uh, first? No, uh, North I mean, the South was obsessed, literally about the North. I mean, the was obsessed and the with the Civil War. You see, there's there's two things that happened <laughs> in the eighties. They were obsessed with the fifties and the eighteen sixties. It was kind of like a like a flip back into the time thing. A lot North of and look. South is a fucking episode title, <laughs> by the way. North and South smoke shows. That's what it's gonna be about. <laughs> Well, there you go, dude. One of them's really about the North and the (laughs) (laughs) release the crack. And you you can't can't just find that anywhere. You have to pay to watch it. Did you know that? I don't know. I've I've tried to watch it a few times. I've tried to. I bet you can find it on DVD pretty cheap. Oh, we're talking about North and South? I thought we were talking about the show. I thought you were saying like you know it's something you gotta watch live. And I'm like, yeah, you know, Nick show. wrote it and he changed the ending to North and South. Mm. My ending's way better. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're two countries now. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> keeping it true to the title. Well, that could be, who that would, could be that could be like um, what's who'd that pay show? for your we, water? We bill, all though. watch it that Nick did. I bet yeah. Matt didn't. Um, what? Um, what was that okay. show on Amazon Prime? Um, that the Man Japanese and Castle. Germans won the Man war. Oh, okay. Yeah. Man of High Man Castle. Just because Castle. I didn't watch the fourth fucking season because it was which was season. the best. No, the well, fourth season was good. First, good. The first and fourth seasons are good. Should've, Second, and third, yeah, they kind of stepped up. I spit on the screen. Up. Sorry. Well, we didn't see it. Yeah. But well, sure, it, was all screen, o- it was it was all over now. The like splatter <laughs> as it happens back into so no, but I, jokes it, that I'm not going to say them. No. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, no, dude. Do we, it's do literally we... about the north and the south. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like it was pretty heavy on the Civil War. So. A lot of people. A lot of people died. A lot of people died. I've, there's been. Um, nah, never mind. I don't want to bore you. We're almost at the time for another. Have you seen those shirts or... about uh, about um, Lincoln's review of the? Oh yeah, theater. one star. Yeah. <laughs> I have not seen that. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just cracks me up. I'm. Hey, I'm sorry, Abe. I'm sorry. You just. You know. Needed better security. I mean, I know Nick was happy, right, Nick? Uh, yeah. Well, he should have had more than one guard. Yeah. Anyhow, John the Dragon. Hey, did any of you guys try to listen to Y and T yet? No. Oh, I forgot. Wait, what was Y and T again? Young and what thick. What is Y and T? Young and okay. thick. <laughs> no, it was a. Uh... Listen, to I thought it was a show. Oh no, it was yeah. a group. It was the, it was the band that he recommended to us uh, in December. That oh we, yeah, yeah, that's oh, right. I, I got confused, thing. and um, I actually checked out. You know, after we hung up, I was just was like, "Oh, I'm never going to talk to these people again." Young and thick Damn. is that the name of it? No, wow. that's not the name of it. Y and T. He was never going to talk to us again. <laughs> I was hoping you just slipped that one in there, like we weren't going to hear it. <laughs> I think I think he meant it. I, he, he, I, I'm that just was, trying that, to search that, my library here. Guys. When he's drunk and high, he's serious. Yeah, you Usually don't know when you're drunk me. and high. You're nice. <laughs> I don't you, know you. What? I've known you for like 15 fucking years. <laughs> you don't fucking know me. You don't. I know, know you. Okay. I know you. All right, you don't know. Me. <laughs> How do you say I don't know you? It's been it's at least 15 years. Um, Y and T, yeah. man. <laughs> um, so bit, yeah, this has been a, it was been a, it was, Hey, did you guys have a good new year's and everything? Christmas? Oh, yesterday we didn't talk and today, about Thanksgiving. Um, yesterday and today, I thought it was a Beatles song. I was going to go to sleep early. Album. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was, I was actually, really tired. Actually, uh, yeah. And then the Georgia, uh, Ohio state game. Yep, I watched it to the end, and it was it ended right at midnight. Yep, they Georgia kicked it one second before back, midnight, and then and he yeah. he butchered it. Maybe it was bad, but <laughs> both of those games were great, though the, uh, the TCU in Michigan and uh, yeah Georgia and uh, those I still great think games. it was a touchdown by Michigan, but that's okay. I do too. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I, I don't think he had con- I don't think he had control until he went into the end into zone, the but. end zone. Yeah, everybody well, saw well, that, <laughs> but obviously not the people watching the game. That's what kills me. You watch the replay and you're like, okay, what am I watching here? There was a anyway. couple of, yeah, some bad calls that whole day, really. For But that's, that's just part of it. I'm excited. I'm, I'm actually going to see the Boston College versus B Boston University hockey game oh, at nice. Fenway Park on Saturday. Oh, Fenway oh. Park. Nice. Yeah. <coughs> some, summertime. It's gonna be like 42 degrees out, so it's going to be weird. Yeah. Our weather, our, we we were in the seventies the last two days. Dude, right. it's fucked. This, the weather patterns are absolutely fucked this year. And we had th- we had thunderstorms two days. It was so bad. I'm, I'm picking up Ava at school, and I I'm trying to wait. I'm like, okay, let's get her out. Let's get her out. And all of a sudden, it just opens up. It just oh. it's like a fire hose, and my umbrella is blowing all over the place. I'm trying to cover her up. I get her in the car. I go yeah. to the front seat, and the rain the rain's going sideways. Got mm. sideways rain, and literally, I open the door. The umbrella is blocking my way because it's opening up. I can't get the damn umbrella shut because the wind's blowing so hard. I'm just dripping in sweat. Oh. Throw the umbrella in, get in there, get home. I dry off the car best I can. I get into it. I go, that smells like mildew. I think as it got on the, it, it's 
it stinks because of the goddamn <laughs> rain. And there's nothing I can do. I tried. I did my best. You're never going to get that smell out. Are you sure you just weren't going to the bathroom? Could have been. Yeah. Could have been. Could have been in the bathroom. Sideways. Hey, yeah. uh, question. Do we have any emails? <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. Oh, I don't know. I haven't checked it for a while. Okay. Oh, I think uh, Maggie's Magnificent. Thank you for the Christmas card. Uh, one second. Uh, we, 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 we did, we did get you. some um, back a while, and we never read them. All right. Let's uh, read them. Do it. But at this All time, right. we're going to take a commercial break. Wait, we are? Do we have Is this for, are you for real? Well, it's been an hour since the last one. <laughs> it's true. You're All on right, mute, so, Chris. Chris, you're on mute. I don't think we read this one. <laughs> what it said was, I, I don't think I've ever seen Matt so eager to end a show before in my life. He doesn't want to talk to us ever again. Ever. 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 He just says, he, he's probably sent Hitman out to our house. And we walk outside, we're going to be taken out by a sniper. Because he don't open any again. Christmas cards from me. <laughs> By the way, I didn't send it hey, you know what? I, Sorry, I, 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 we still have our Christmas. Chris, we, we got yours. That was very beautiful. Thank you. I loved your Christmas. You, uh, oh, I, said, I don't fucking know, dude. My wife handles it. I can't. We, I fucking hate Christmas cards with a we goddamn not, burning passion. This, this year, this year we got like we got like six Christmas cards because we haven't sent them out in like two years. Oh, yeah. okay. My wife goes, "Oh, they take you off the." I go, "That's fine." Oh, that's the they trick. Take, yeah, you don't just, send you don't them. Send them and then if they don't get one from you, then they don't so send one if to it, you. If it, if it, that's the problem. If it were up to me, we wouldn't. Even for my mom, my wife she said, fuck you. you I can't the stand it. Like, it's, yeah, go ahead. I'm going to be all did mean. We take go ahead. Do we need it. to take do a it. commercial break. Cards. Oh, we already did. We already did. We took it. We took five. Okay, so this one was dated December 6th. December 6th. Oh, date that'll live in me. Is a joke from Randy. Ooh, what do you from call, last year. Yeah, what do you call James Bond taking a bath? Huh. James Bond t- shaking nuts stirred. Uh, bond, bath bond. No. Bath bond? Bath. Bath. James Bath. Join me. There you go. Bubble of <laughs> seven. <laughs> oh, <Bubble of seven. laughs> ah, that's pretty bad. Who's the most daddest of them all? <laughs> Hi-yo. Okay, wow. How'd you get that one? Yeah, Dad the, logic. Shittiest, the shittiest ending to that joke. And that was it. <laughs> this one is, is Randy from... still with Until us? I took out all reason and logic. And... <laughs> this one is from Randy as well. When oh. We were talking about how none of us knew the password um, to RCAD. Oh, he oh, got okay. the password. Right. So, so, for ev- so, every- so, so for everyone who's been locked out of the RCAD email for the past couple of weeks, let me help you out. The new password mm. is... Gretchen Lube 69. <laughs> <laughs> How if, you, you know? if it doesn't work, don't forget to include the trailing bang symbol at the end. <laughs> oh, my God, Randy. <laughs> Not even close, Randy. Is it? <laughs> I, you know, I can't remember. Luckily, I have it on save because I don't know what it is. <laughs> All right. So we have one, one more from Maggie. This one also came in December 15th. Oh. It's called Yankee Trader Gift. Mm. Hey, Jack, Nick, Chris, and Matt. My work had our holiday party today. We did a Yankee Trader game where everyone brings a gift, and then you picked you pick a gift, or you could still – so it was a white elephant gift. I guess. Okay. Yankee um, Trader white elephant. Yeah. Mm-hmm same long story short too late i came home (laughs) with a lazy susan oh Oh, damn huh i've been laughing about it all evening uh thinking of you gentlemen and i thought you'd appreciate that happy i do appreciate that that's awesome that that is happy holidays thank you it's fucking awesome i I told my wife about that because we're the lazy i said we need to clean out this lazy susan she goes i go you know who came up with that she says thomas jefferson and I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna finish the joke because I don't want to get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell. I'll tell you guys after the show. Oh, okay. okay but I, Nick well. would appreciate the joke because he's from the south. <laughs> 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 
No more emails. That was it. We, we, we've been gone a month, and that's it. Yeah, no one well, fucking cares. This is yeah. three people. They, they really do care notice. about us, which I appreciate. Well, they'll but, care when I get Jane Seymour on the show. I think they, oh, they heard the last episode with <laughs> you and me, Jack, and they were like, fuck this nonsense. Well, the, the worst part was yeah, we, we knew Nick wasn't going to be on the show, right? Yeah. But Chris was supposed to be on the show. Right. I, could only, I could only do a half hour because I had to do the – You only could do a half hour, I we, do and somehow show. we couldn't even have Miami Mike. So Miami Mike, I, I wanted you to know yeah. that I voted hard and he often. <laughs> At least once he was pushing. Night. He was pushing hard to get you on the show, Miami. Mike. I was. I wanted you to replace me. So <laughs> <laughs> that's the only way that I can leave the show is to find a replacement. I've watched. Well, John, the, the, John the retired guy said, said, "This is look, how it sound goes." Like, sound like I said I wanted to be somewhere else. I go what? Which is true. Oh. Speaking of, of of Star Trek, I happened to run into Dan. He he was passing through. Yeah, I saw that. He had a, he had and, a body bag with him. He, oh. There's no such thing as passing through. No, he was. He was passing through. We, he we was met stalking him you. And, no. Everyone, co- I'm passing through to Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone passes through to Franklin. Well, he had his he had his family with him, so you know, I assume. Well, he's teaching them the trade of the family the, trade. The, the, the Manson family. <laughs> Sure. Okay. Well, that's all I wanted to mention. About <laughs> no, that. go ahead. I'm just, we're just, kidding. no, there's, I, I have nothing else to mention. What did he show up? What did, did he, Dan cook, have did to he say? cook for you? Was it people? No, we, we went out to dinner or lunch or, or for food. Uh huh. That's what I'm saying. Like, so, so what was it? What was it? Lunch or dinner? Yeah. It was, it was, it was, it was a, not a, was it, a bit it was like a two, a, a two o'clock lunch. Where'd you guys go? Hmm. He likes pizza. So, where'd you back guys of go? his van? Uh no, no. We went to a place called Upland Brewery. It's it's in Columbus, Indiana. Oh, ooh, Columbus, so Indiana. Just just a little south of us. So does Indiana steal all the city names? It's a north and south thing, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Because you have Columbus, Ohio. Did they? Which came first, Columbus, Indiana? I Columbus, Columbus Ohio. Ohio definitely came before Columbus, Indiana. Okay. Yeah. And but named Columbus, a, it, Columbus is Indiana, it named though, after Christopher, there's a pill for that. It is, it is uh, what I would say is the architecture capital of, of Indiana. You know, like like it's kind of like the... No, it's known for its its architecture. I believe you. So it, it is the birthplace of the modern uh, church. So like, you know... Oh, when thanks. You, <laughs> when you... <laughs> When you think of like modern churches, they're not like an old chapel where it's like just like a steeple, you oh, know. And architecture it's all... of the new church. The architecture saying. of style of of Christian so churches. It's like, it's like a modern changed. church. Well, it changed. It changed the way that the churches, you know, uh, they have were stained glass windows. You mean like a brick building with four pillars in the front, or what? No, I mean it's just like the the way the architecture of the church is. It's off center. It's not asymm. It's not symmetrical. It's asymmetrical. Uh, the way that it's that it's uh it's set up. It's just a uh, it's a you, it's a new way of church? doing things. And then some of the basically the the parish broke off from that church, and they were like, "Screw you guys! We're gonna hire our own architect, and we're gonna build our own chapel." And then they built one, and it's kind of uh shaped like a ufo you I think was, are weird um, shaped like a ufo yeah it's it's by eros i believe um or maybe I'm, I'm mispronouncing his name i can't think straight but yeah it's it's kind of like a, a ufo it's like a it's good like it's a, a cool like like a 50s ufo like a little no not like a 50s ufo it's it's done tastefully so the church no longer meets there sadly i just found this out just just the other so what's Dang. with the building? Is it still there? Uh, the building's still there, and the, the town will probably not, you know, they won't let anything happen to it. Because the same architect that, that designed that church did the uh, St. Louis uh, Arch. And um, I'm sorry that I'm, I'm not remembering yep. the name. So, <laughs> Damn, John. You well, gotta tell, I... You gotta tell us something? We were trying to close out the show, and then... Then you, know, you kept talking. About churches. Yeah. <laughs> You were the well, one that was advocating for like, the end, at least and then you just kept like talking. Water, <coughs> you literally are house, turning you know? into Jack. So, yeah. what? Why do are I keep you, getting are, blasted? Are you, are you being unsympathetic about my house flooding right now? 
Is that, that's where you well, went? If, that's if you where you went. It, if you that's had gone to went. church, you heathen, you, your house might not have flooded. That's where I went. I you could you could have made fun of anything. You I said, could've. you know what? Fuck Nick. <laughs> Fuck hey, his house. I hope I thought when it, it, hey, I thought the about sinkhole opens Christmas. up and it just crumbles into the fucking so, ground. When you, when you were gone, did, did, Dan, thought, did Dan go by there and uh, damage your house? Yeah, no, I have. no, he didn't come to my house. Why Not would I let house. him in my house? My no, house. no, no, I wouldn't let him in your house. Yeah, no. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Well, does if, he? You know. Does he know about the people buried next door? No, because you know he doesn't listen to this fucking show. Dan probably put them there. Yeah. No, he didn't. How do you? Know? Can we wrap up this show? Because we're you know <laughs> at a commercial break. Chris, Chris hasn't said anything, which I know is a bad. bad oh no, I, I've been talking. Yeah, no, 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 no. he likes watching the train. Fully wreck, but. Hey, did you like my did you like my thumbnail this week, uh, Matt? I honestly I didn't think about it. <laughs> Dude, he's a fucking like pedigree a asshole today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I, I, I get I, hey Professor Matt, you like my art project? Quite frankly, I didn't even think about it. Fuck off. <laughs> Doesn't want to talk to us ever again. Again. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Were you having a podcast without me? I didn't realize. <laughs> Let me just go back to my reading. <laughs> wow. I'm hurt, and I've known you for like 15 years, at least. No, it's it's this, great. This kid's grown an attitude. He's grown, <laughs> just grown an incredible attitude. Over the last at, least, at least 15 years. Yeah. Hurt, what? Man, I'm hurt. Huh? I, I think we've known each. I think I've known all of you for at least 15, 16 years, mm-hmm. right? At least since think, uh, yeah. oh, oh five, oh six, maybe. Yeah. And then Matt, Matt I started listening Matt, to you. Oh, and Matt doesn't give a fuck. Six. What? Yeah. I'm sorry. Was this show still going on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike says the show should keep going as long as the House Majority Leader vote keeps going. Oh, Jesus. Talk about sorry. talk about a smoke show. Wait, shit show. That shit <laughs> show. Has <laughs> it been 12 times? times? 12 times. 11 yeah. times today. So 12 will be tomorrow. I, person, person, I don't, I don't bum, care. Bum, but it's just like, get it's to work. Same fucking idiot. How hard is it? Get to fucking work. And it, I, I don't know. Bunch you of assholes. The, you got the crazies that are holding it up. Absolutely. Anyway. Bunch of assholes. But, or they could all just mutually agree on one person, you know, and come together as other states have done. But, you know, whatever. A bunch of bag of dick bags. Bag of dicks. Bag of dick bags. <laughs> I gotta watch that show again, though. Jack, I do like the, the way you did the numbers, by the way. That was cool. Be, be honest with you, I didn't do anything but the RCAD. This oh, yeah. A, this was a template. And I went, okay, I'll take out you that. Dropped, you thing. dropped RCAD in there. Well done. RCAD. And then there's 190. If you you can't see it under Jack, but it says 194. Because this is episode 194. It's always important to label the it number is. of the episode. It is. True. We're barely just squeaking by to get to 200. You know? It's I know. Because like we're going to have a party with Jane Seymour on episode 200. Let's cool. go. Of course, Chris will have to be in a cold shower the whole time we're uh, no. recording it. No, I'll be able to handle myself. You'll be able to handle yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. He's podcasting without his pants that day. Okay. Hasta luego <laughs> and goodbye. <laughs> At this time, we're going to conclude this episode because it's gone on forever. God, it's almost eleven thirty. Shit, I got to get a few hours. Oh, I forgot to tell my my grandkid story real quick here. I've been sick for like what since Shit, October. Shit, there's no way I can mute him. Since, I got, since, <laughs> Fuck, since October, I I, I've been sick. Cat. It goes away. It comes back. It goes away. I went to the doctor, and they said, "Oh, you have what everyone else has." No go, more uh, monkeys jumping on the bed. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Shouldn't that mom? Shouldn't that mom be charged with uh, some kind after of after uh, ten monkeys jumping on? How the many bed? monkeys I mean, are gonna jump on the bed before sick. they? It, it, I'm it's like okay after, after the second five, one, the doctor you should be like, doing time. Yeah. Anyway, child protective services are showing up. So, and so she goes to me. She goes, yeah, it, it's it could be because nobody wore a mat. Everyone wore a mask for three. I'm like going. I'm just looking at her like, the fuck are you talking about? I have this nasty cough, and so she gave me these cough pills, this prescription cough that don't work. Oh, I have I had the cough pills. I thought they helped. The little, they look like little. Uh, oh, yeah, the cough pills. Mm-hmm. 
They look, they look like, like little uh, fish oil pills. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, I know what you're talking about. Didn't I, I got some, I got some of those, and they helped. I had to put Vicks on my feet when I would go to sleep. I would use those right before I went to bed Wait, when I had COVID because I because it would depress the cough so that. Yeah, oh, yeah, you oh, put it on what, the. What do you, you put, put Vicks, Vicks on your, on your feet. feet for? Yeah, if you put, yeah, if you put Vicks on, I told Matt about this. If you put Vicks yeah. on your feet mm -hmm. and put some socks on, it will, yeah. it will, it, it'll calm your cough down. Yeah, it does. It does a thing. I put feet it on my chest, absorbent. but I put it yeah, on my, yeah. I put it on my feet. I swear it worked. It kept also, me from, it kept me from coughing. Also, fun fact: Popeye used to get his, you know, super strength. Not from spinach, but from rubbing like a chicken's head. So look it up, kids. <laughs> anyway, so uh, no, if you put, I said, you're looking at me like I'm crazy. It does work. They're both. They're I, looking at me like I'm crazy. I can't. I, I can't understand the physio, like the physiology of how that would work. I, I well, he Vicks rubs the Vicks. chicken's head, and then boom, he's got the <laughs> magic string. Because the whole idea of cam for is for you to Inhale breathe it. in. I, I How are you gonna I, breathe it in if it's on your feet? Maybe Ever. it's a duck. You, I don't know, but it's like you put, a you put it you put it on your feet. I would put socks on. It's a poultry bird of some type. I would I could sleep through the night without coughing. That I would cough all day long. Now, now what happens? When I'm, go ahead. What happens when um, you know your wife picks up your socks the next day and they're all crusty inside? Well, to, to well, be, I mean, some, he's not, well, to, to be honest, I'm not unfamiliar I'm, I'm, with I'm, him. I'm, <laughs> It's, it's it's not the fifties. I I have to pick up my own socks. Sorry, Nick. Oh, um, oh. Wow. Sorry, it's, wow. it's it's not the South either. I have to pick up my own socks. Mm. So anyway, Chris, I'm, not, I'm not Thomas Jefferson. Bernice I have to pick up the Wiffle Hen. That's what it was. Bernie Bernice the Wiffle. Looking up this yeah. Vicks on the feet thing. This is blowing my mind. I swear it works. It does. Oh, here's it, finally Matt Treese is here, and he said this is the second time today I've heard putting Vicks on your feet <laughs> and then putting on socks. It's, I guess I'm what happened. Healthline, Healthline.com says using Don't put Vicks, Vicks VapoRub on your, on your feet may soothe then... tired, achy feet, but it won't help with cold symptoms like a stuffy nose or a sinus congestion. In addition, you may apply too much VapoRub on your feet and will feel like it's not working. If you feel like it's not working. I didn't say it takes away the cold. It, it simmers down the cough. It was the only way I could sleep at night because my cough is so bad. So anyway, anyone that knows me since October. But hold on. Just... Hold on. I'm not done with this yet, Jack. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, all like, right. Have you ever put it on your chest? <sighs> yeah, I, I put it on my chest too. And that doesn't stop you? That doesn't give you the same relief as your feet? No. it's it's. I do my feet, and then I put it on my chest, and then all three, I could sleep. What happens if you put it on your balls? It oh, burns. it would sting, it, huh? <laughs> I know. It's like, it's like when a, I had a... I, um, I think I almost tore my groin or something like that. it was. It was bad, so I tried to play hockey like a few months later. So I put some uh, Ben Gay on the, uh, yeah. But it got it got into the area of my balls, and I'm like I'm sitting I'm like I'm sitting on the bench going I gotta get off the ice I gotta get off the ice I'm burning here, so I put some water on it to cool it off. Big mistake because that yep. makes it a hundred times worse. I'm like. A, I gotta get off the ice. I I I I I went to the bathroom and had to wash my balls to get this stuff off my balls right. because it was sick. so. And the worst worst part was at my age they were down on the ground, so I had right, right, and they got stuck in the drain. It was it's just a hole. It was a nightmare. But anyway, so Chris, you had it's it's no it's no secret that dudes they touch their balls, right? So <laughs> I I touched my nuts <laughs> once after preparing and making a salsa. Ooh, oh, yeah, bad, bad motherfucker. There. The I didn't even realize that there was like the oils or essences of jalapeno on my hands. Didn't I couldn't smell it. it wasn't I, I didn't know it was there. But then I, I grabbed the old satchel and man, it fucking burnt like a. <laughs> I'm telling you, if your kids are caught, you I told you about. Did your wife do it, uh, Matt? Did she put the bix on her feet? I don't like to talk about my wife's feet. Okay, that's okay. just not something right. I'm willing to talk right. about. But seriously, I you you asked me. I said put Vix on. Have her put Vix on. I think face. I think this is a a, a a a secret way that Vix is trying to get more money out of you because you're using three times the amount of Vix that you're supposed to. No, I buy I buy the I buy the Target brand Vix, which is like five dollars cheaper than the Vix brand. Yeah, well, so there. I just I I can't. 
wrap I'm my head around you, how that I'm could be you, remotely beneficial. The, the only way I could sleep at night was doing that because I would be because <laughs> I cough and I cough. I have a very nasty cough. Now people that know me know I, I do two things: I throw up or I pass out, which I've done a couple times with this over the last couple months because I cough so hard, I just black out. Luckily, I was sitting down when I did it. Um, but I threw up a lot. I've lost 18 pounds since October Damn. from being sick. Oh, from your bulimia. <laughs> yeah, from my bulimia. So anyway, one day I had, I, I'm watching. Chris's <laughs> eyes just went really big and then his head went down like shake my head. We're losing all the women uh, people here. Anyway, so I, I'm throwing up into the sink, the kitchen sink, because I'm coughing. It just uh, coughing. So my Was it on the ran. garbage disposal side? Or? It's the garbage disposal side. I have the water going and stuff like that. <laughs> sometimes you, sometimes you can make it to the bathroom, sometimes you can't. Again, so, Chris's face is just bright. So anyway, can I finish this story? No, huh? Well, I want to know more about your vomit, but thanks. So I just I just coughed and it just I, I, I get to the point where I'm coughing so much, either I'm gonna pass out yeah. or throw up. I'm and sorry so to I, ask you all these questions. And so I'm coughing, and my two grandkids, Ava and uh Hayden think I'm being funny. They think I'm being, I'm joking around. And I'm, I go, I'm not Sorry. joking. I'm not joking. Kicking so they go around all day going, I'm Papa. <laughs> <laughs> well, you kind of deserve it though. I mean, so they go, Papa. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> we're, we're doing your cough. I said, that's pretty good. Okay. It's like, the, I, it's like the Godfather. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, that's I got my grandkids going around going because eh, eh. <laughs> I think they think I'm trying to be funny even though I'm 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 literally losing a rib. Totally gonna traumatize I, I, I'm those. I'm a violent I'm a violent thrower upper. I, I, yeah, I, I'm very. I, it comes from Animated. all the way down here. And it comes yeah. out. I mean, that's where the glat way. filter comes from. See, mine exactly. glat. Exactly. I filled. I cough. You know, you. Glat Your eye cough. Yes. Yeah. I cough. You glad fell. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad uh, fell. <laughs> man, these jokes are just getting better, aren't they? Yeah. They are. Did you so anyway, that out? Like that, was my grand, that was my grandkid story that, you know, I, I I threw up and they were going around imitating me for like two or I three left days. I thinking does. this show is over and I came back and it's still recording. So, yeah. yeah. The worst yeah. part, because my wife will go, don't throw up because she, she doesn't like it. So she'll leave, actually leave the room as I'm on my own. Oh. I'll pull her. If she's throwing up, I pull her hair back. I'm rubbing her, you know, back and saying, "Are you okay? You're okay." Yeah. She's like, "Are you done yet?" <laughs> that's she a, can't. That's she can't. That can't be the first time she's mm. said that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and she's usually shouting it from the other room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you finished? <laughs> and I'm done. <laughs> Yes, John, this show should be done. As long as I'm happy, that's all that matters. But anyway, that's my story. My God. Okay. <laughs> we have some special patrons to thank for making this show. But right, you know, if you'd like to be a patron, we're still looking for that million dollar patron. And if you if you if you donate a million dollars, I will get Jane Seymour on the show. Why are you spending so much time on the million dollar pa- patrons? Just tell tell us who the patrons are. Well, if we get one million dollar patient patron, fuck it. <laughs> we don't even have to do another show. <laughs> you you spend a lot of time He's on a million wrong. dollar patron because we're not we're not sharing it with the other podcasts. Okay, I get that. I get that. So it's, it's, it's there just goes a, that Owen and Baru's. Money. But if you like to be a patron, go to jayjack.com, Click on the button to be a patron. Uh, any anything helps. It helps keep this show going because this show is spectacular. Uh, but we like to thank Eckhart Richter Glaffelder, Joanne with a plan, Maggie the Magnificent, thanks for the email, and Ed the Creepy Letter Carrier, thanks for all you do. And thanks for everyone who joined us in the chat tonight. Uh, you. Buy some Vicks, rub it uh, wherever you want. That helps support rub the RCAD. Don't put it in your, on your it shit, down. though. Yeah, no, it, 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 it doesn't burn as much as uh, Ben Gay or Ice yeah. Hot or something like that. But it, 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 it can Hashtag be Hashtag that stuff out. Yeah. Anything else you guys want to add? Uh, are we do the? I thought 2023 were doing roaming producers. That was your idea. None of us agreed to that. I was hoping. Anyway, Matt, <laughs> what? Huh? Huh? You want to be producing next week? Well, we did. When so are we, we meeting again? 
We did what? You're muted, Chris. I can't hear. Oh, he did it on. He did it on purpose. Is this thing on? <laughs> anyway, that's all we got. Oh, uh, you know, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna make it at two hours. We got 20 oh. seconds to go. So, talk into this part, right? <laughs> Just, I got the phone here. Oh, I, I I've started rewatching Gunsmoke. Don't care. Paramount Plus has all the episodes of Gunsmoke on. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just trying. I to got Mom pull Pilot time. on here. Mom made me. Anyway, watch all, man. that's all we got. Hasta luego and goodbye. I've seen them all, by the way. <laughs>